Hello everyone, Basif here. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 14. Yes, I know. We're still playing. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. A lot of friends have been playing it. Um, we're all kind of having fun. Um, so my thought is I'll just keep playing it through the rest of this week. And then next week we'll start up with some normal gameplay and maybe we'll just continue playing this on some uh, weekends. Or if people are enjoying this gameplay, maybe we'll just keep playing it every now and then. But um, I decided I need to actually try to... Oh, no. I need to actually try to focus on a, a task. <laughs> and uh, I think that task is going to be... I'm going to try to go unlock um, the ability to ride a mount. So that is my goal today. How come... Oh, right. I'm an idiot. I'm not zoomed in enough. I'm sitting here like, why isn't her symbol showing up on the map? Although it's still not. It shows up on the mini map, but... That I don't understand. Why... Sometimes symbols show up and other times they don't. Maybe I should have some as work for a meddlesome adventurer. Okay, what she got? Another god's damn adventurer just desperate to stick their her nose in everyone's business, is it? Then seek out the mighty Hanskeeper and the Tamtar Deepcroft. You'll find him in shack just outside the entrance, as the hermit is all too unhappy to live close to his work. When last I patrolled that area, I could hear him swearing inside his shack from the road. I know not what vexes the man, but I suspect he'll welcome your presence more than I. Jeez. What's up, Josh? You'll be on in 5 or 10? That is fine, my dude. Uh, I did pop on the Discord, so... Feel free to join in whenever. Hi, you do. Uh, Birch will be joining us as well. Why aren't these showing up on my map anymore? I have to be to work, are you? Hey, I have a task I need doing. Take these Namelia lilies and leave them at the top of each barrow. Leave doubtless... Seen the bones return to life by foul magics, shambling around and harassing their surviving comrades. It hurts me soul to see an adventurer. I can not abide such blasphemy. It is me hope that these lilies soothe their spirits and help them return to the matron's bosom. See me when you're finished. Okay. Oh. Well, at least they're here, I guess. Is that my quest? Because there's a bunch of little ones here. Oh, here's the barrow. Okay. I guess I'll take care of these real quick. No! A glowing glow-fi. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Don't hit me. Get wrecked. Bonk. Did I do it? Wait, what? Uh... Oh, I get it. Action cancel them. Fuck! Is it because I left the area? What happened? No, you're gonna summon more, you asshole. Okay, now let's see. I think it's because I left a little ring. There we go. Okay. Bye-bye. Since we're here, we'll just take these out. So the question is, do... Does your rest of experience only affect your main class or any of your classes and you only get a certain amount? How come this one's lit again? It's not. It's a different one. Sick. Okay, but there is something here. Fire in the gloom. I have a mark. Oh, is there... Is there an underground spot here? Yes the underground bit. Okay. I know where I'm at. Hello. Have this. You've done holy work this eve last. I can't even fathom what could have dragged those dead to rise up and seek to do us harm, but I pray that this helps put them into it. May the major watch over you and keep you safe. Sweet. Oh, Jade Grunties. Oh, Jade Grunties. Ah, what are you doing there? Ah. Creepy screeching bone men. Oh no, another one. Right next to me. Hell slash. Welcome back. Birch! Holy crap, 26 months! Wait. Who www has time passed this quick? Who www time has passed this quick? Say, there goes so much for 26 months. Go get him. Yeah, go, go get him. Yum, yum, yum. There's a Jada. How you doing, friend? Welcome back. It's good to see you. 
Um, your face gains more, I take it. Thanks for helping us out, friend. No doubt the bow lord has already informed you, but your tasks is enter deep crap and purge it of the lambs of the yeah, of Dalamud. Can I have a more <laughs> I forgot you have a, a special sound effect. I was like, wait a minute, it's supposed to be the choky boy, but you have your own. Oops, I skipped that. It's fine. The cultists took the lesser moon, Dalamud, for their guard, believing that it would be delivered them from the devastation. And so they would they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now, having seen their god turn to ash, one would think the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, it served only to make stoke the flames of their fanaticism. The lambs of Dalamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say, everyone but them, or that is to say, everyone but them interfered with the coming of their lord and savior, and it is how their sacrifice duty to avenge them. Whatever it is they're doing in the Deepcroft, you may be sure that no good will come of it. For the sake of Gridani and Neroze at large, put an end to their madness. Can do. Duty finder has been updated. Oh, does it want me to go there? I guess it wants me to do this. Dungan! Josh, you want to do a Dungan? Because if you guys want to do a Dungan, I'll wait for you. Also, the stupid feedback noise is so freaking annoying. I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to have to contact Steel Series again and be like, listen, I don't know what's wrong with your Arctic Pros, but after like six months of using them, they start having feedback problems, and I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, I, I can wait. Absolutely. I can do some, uh, because I think, uh, Birch said you're gonna join us too. I just don't know when, uh, she'll be joining exactly, so I can just run around here for a bit. Maybe do some, uh, gathering in. Yeah, let's switch, let's switch, uh, to Botany. Let's see if we can pick up some things. Whee! Yes, do food, do homework, make sure you get all your uh, responsibilities done stuff first. So I was looking up the differences between the, um, crap, uh, the companies, that's the word. And, uh, my ADHD brain does not do well with choices like that. But, ooh, hidden lavender seeds. Oh, I haven't looted one of these yet. Neat. Um, and apparently there's also different chocobo outfits, which is kind of neat. Cool. Um, yeah, you guys take your time. I found some new stuff I can loot, so I might be here for a few minutes. Look at this wiggly boy. Choco Surge. Hmm. This probably is food. Cotton balls. I'll probably do the cotton. Because that... Ooh, I, I got two high-quality cottons from that, and I didn't even use my power. Neat. I think cotton is probably going to be used for uh, weaving stuff. Here's the elemental shard. Oh yeah, forgot I had that here. Give me some super awesome cotton. Okay, so I got my question that I had answered earlier. Or, my question I had earlier answered. The rested experience applies to all your classes. But it's one buff. One bonus in total. Location affects your HQ. Whoa, wait, what? Some gathering points will possess certain characteristics that, when exploited, may increase overall yield chances of obtaining high quality items or number of gathering attempts. Gathering point characteristics are displayed directly beneath a point's integrity bar, but can only be seen after acquiring one of the Disciple of the Hand Whisperer trait. I have the Whisperer trait? I have a Tree Whisperer trait. Oh. Neat. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. So let's use this. And up our chance to 30% for special cotton balls. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. How do I sell crap? And and should I just vendor like old gear? Or is there a way to like break it down into materials? Also, um, materia. Should I go buy that or can I find it somewhere? Once you get your retainers, you level them up. Oh, that's another thing. Should I do retainers right away? Because there's a retainer person, obviously. Um... But I don't know if it's expensive to hire them or keep them around or up. You can make them botanists, even ask them to gather materials for you every 40 minutes. Neat. Shows a company name for his character based on chocobo outfits of the companies. <laughs> you can vendor or eventually you learn desynthesis. Material drops off monsters. You'll get retainers with your main story quests. Oh, they're free. Sick. And they level up from doing missions. Okay. That is neat. There was a spaceship. Oh, you're online? Mm hmm. Hey, go. Also, I'm in the Discord if you want to hang out. Just grabbing. <laughs> You're gonna run around in your tidy whities are you? 
Also, I did find out I need to finish a few more achievements or something so I can get a couple more achievement points. All right, switch. I'm here. Ahoy. Hey, what's up? I'm helping murder a, a big water bottle. Oh, must save friend. I save friend. I got you, Laura Lee. Don't you worry. Travis Senpai. Not enough MP. What used my magic power? Hold up. Why do I only... Oh, God. I blew through all my magic power somehow. How did I do that? Oh, it's because I switched my class. And I didn't wait for it to gen. Yeah, if you switch the class while not in... Uh, yeah. A rested area. That's a bummer. It's fine. No. It's for you. Fat cat, let's go. I need a wand or something. You damage, leave the healing to me. <laughs> okay. Are you not in the fate, technically, right now? I'm technically not in the fate. Nice. So I just gave everyone a shield worth, like, 16k health. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. People taking if no you damage. The party, you'll see a yellow bar above your health. Huh? Um, that's your, uh, shield. Oh, it's weird. It, it like, it's covering over yeah, my name and stuff. Yep. And it has two extra dots. Neat. We did it! Oh my god, you sealed me. Add uh, for- because that was a crit, it's, uh, ba 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 250% shield of that heal. Oh my god. What was I doing? If you oh. want to do that dungeon, I'm Right, here. right. Let's go do that. Why don't you have that XP buff on? Um, because I have Catalyze and Galvanize on me. Yeah, I don't. Um, is there something I gotta do? No, you should have it. Was it because I was in a fate? <gasps> it's because it only applies to below level 20 classes. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I just hit 23. That's interesting. I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, uh, to queue for dungeon, you can just press... Uh... You? Yes, you. You. Oh, sweet. That's what I was looking for earlier. Wait, there's... So, okay. duty roulette is your dailies. Okay. And then the next tab, you'll see a one with like a little hole. Right. Dungeon. That's your... Yeah. Okay. So, there's levels here, obviously. What is the numbers next to it? Is that as many times as I've cleared it? What do you mean? Where it says like... So it says there's a uh, two here. Two? That means that's how many um, other, I believe, unfinished groups are looking for another person. Oh, neat. So I should do the dailies at some point. Leveling? Definitely. Okay. Early level, leveling roulette will give you like three levels. And did that add you to the queue? Yep. Okay. Okay. It, uh, it asks, well, it puts your whole party in. Cool. So I figured we could... Oh, I thought it was... So we got... Oh, maybe I was queued for the you dungeon, know. too. You, you queued for leveling. Leveling right. takes any dungeon you've completed. Oh, because I was going to say we could rate, wait for Birch, but... <laughs> we can do it again. Ah, I like your tidy whities <laughs> Right? I told you how to get my tidy whities Um, so I am... I'm the healer, because I queued as healer, right? Yep. Okay. And you're queued as... DPS. Are, are you in, um... What's it called? Transmog gear or something? Yep. Okay, so you just look like you're running around in your underwear, but you actually have decent gear. Uh, when I left, I was in raiding gear. Oh, gotcha. For those raids, anyways. 
It's a little bit out of date, but still pretty strong right now. But it, it's uh, it's scaled to the level of the instance, right? Yes. Gotcha. But my stuff is also, if you look at it, it's got um, high tier materia in it, <laughs> which means the material will also scale and give me that extra boost. Gotcha. Boom. Kill the bat. There's a blue? Blue. It'll be the blue switch. Oh. Oh, you're talking about dungeon stuff. I thought you were saying, like, there's a blue loot. No. Uh, yeah, it'll be blue. Like, B, as you saw, B-L-O-O. -O, mm -hmm. Or red, R-E-D-D. -E and... I forget what the other one is. Welcome. Oh, that's right. I should be Your dancing. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly you should be dancing. Pancake! Holy crap! We got two subs today. Oh, gee, that's so long. Thank you so much for the sub. Nom 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 nom. Twenty months. Twenty heckin' months. It's been forever. How you doing, friend? Welcome to the stream. Okay, I'm, I'm keeping an eye open for uh, any blue above the debuff bars and stuff. So do you always have 10,000 mana power? Yes. Okay. Unless you're Black Mage. Then it can go higher? Actually, no, they fixed that. They changed that. Never mind. Ignore me. Okay. Pancake silly and for pets? We'll go pet her. The Dark Lord demands. I can't attack. There it goes. Oh, you're actually taking the muggy. Yep, because tank's not pulling it. Can I use the F keys? I can. Neat. Yes, sir. Mm, one shot it. Sweet. Yeah, I was gonna say that thing just died. I thought I like lagged out or something. Um, so I don't get to dance much, but when I do, completing a dance uh, basically does a 800 potency nuke to everything around me. So when you say you don't get to dance much, is that because things are just dying? Oh, uh, no, um, it's a, there's a cooldown. Oh. And, um, later levels, the cooldown's much more reduced. Okay. Well, everything's gonna melt. So, like, even your, um... Your, your spell effects and stuff get nuked. I guess that makes sense. Yes. So, um... My basic attacks here turn into a three-hit combo. Mm hmm and give me a charges and when I dance I get charges too that's all gone gotcha uh no I did my first dungeon yesterday rooster how you doing man are you working your, your pets are not satisfactory right now oh shit someone's gonna die I did the wrong thing Read and chat and get people murdered. Oh, old threat running up here. Wait, I do. Oh, I'm an idiot. I do have a regular AOE. <laughs> You're gonna start to scream for no reason. Sometimes they just like to hear their own voice. See how you respond. Blue. 
You saw the opportunity and took it. <laughs> Ooh, big kitty. Oh, nice, dude. Turnux <laughs> fat, though. <laughs> oh my god. You, you just murdered Birch's name. Ooh, there's a pink in here. Green is better than pink. Green is better than pink? Yeah. No. uh that sounds bananas. Pink stopped dropping after level 30. Oh, point. really? So I, I rolled need on those bracelets. I we, pass. I pass get, on a loop. Right, do we do we get those at the end of the instance or something? Nope, yeah, once everyone votes. Oh. Or the timer runs out. Okay, so I gotta... Is there a way to see the loot without actually having to touch the stupid chest? You just got a compliment. Yes. Uh, on the right side of your screen, there should be a loot button. Oh, there is. There's okay. loot, too. Alright, I love that. You just got a compliment saying they love your outfit. My outfit? Yeah. In chat. In party chat. Oh, well, I didn't see it. <laughs> he says he loves your outfit. Oh. Oh, he's running. I was like, what the? I'm confused. Okay, so loot. Read. Cool. That's a cool little thing. Every day asking you for a beer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this person. trying to trade with them. Oh, that's right, I have this. You're looking fancy free. Oh, you just gave everyone a shield? Oh, movement speed increase. No, I love that. Uh, everyone moves faster while out of combat. That's awesome. Whoa! Oh, it's game just super zoomed in for a second. That was weird. Oh, is the one and two, is uh, someone marking them or something? I have um, extra keys on my keyboard, and I use it for marking numbers. Oh, rock on. Because I find it helps a lot of like new players, like, which should I prioritize first? There is one... When you do big boss fights, it's a whole... raid, and it's specifically just that boss fight. There's one where there's eight enemies, if I'm correct, and you have to kill them in a specific order. Oh, that's kind of cool.
Yep. Yeah, our tank is pretty experienced. Or he's got some level 50 jobs. Th then how does he have the little sproutling? Because you keep your sprout thing until you finish Heaven's Ward, I believe it is now. Oh, so he's just gotten to higher level. Yep. Okay. So I was going to say, some people know what they're doing and they're definitely not new. He definitely needs to take aggro more, though. Oh, did someone level up? I just heard a victory sound. Yeah, can't hurt my friends. Blinded you. Yeah, tank has debuffs. <laughs> yes, he does. Is there a way to make those oops stand out more? Because I don't like taking my eye off what's going on in front of me to look I don't sideways. Know. But I have all my settings set that my UI scale is at 80%, so it's, mine's even smaller. Oh, you know what? I could totally move the location of that, too. I forgot. Yep, you can do that as well. No, yeah, the, their U, what they let you do the UI is fucking it's amazing. It's so fucking cool. That's I love that. That always was like, you know what? WoW doesn't stand a chance against that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely after seeing that, I was just like, wow, you don't even need a fucking add-on? Uh, there's more advanced things people do, where they will make a macro, and if you touch the macro, it makes a like, pull-out of the skills, and then you just touch the macro again and puts it away. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, so you could keep your UI really freaking clean. Yep. That's super cool. Oh, I'm taking damage. Being shot in the face. -ed. Stop shooting me. You're rude. Yeah, eat rock. Do you want to see something funny? Mid cat. <laughs> I heard a chocobo sound. Yeah, it's probably... I don't know, I don't know why. Look at my ass. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everyone needs to see that. Guys, look at the chat. Oh, fucking cutscene. Skip. Look at <laughs> look at the Josh made a cat. It says look at my ass. Ah shit, I should join this. I made more. Time to wipe. Oh god. <laughs> it's fine. It's not gonna I get me bad. Pure artistry. <laughs> Eat my water. that noise oh, that break. oh oh yeah how do you use that p in general <laughs> and it'll you'll have a button for limit break and it's a it's a party <laughs> limit break right it's not individual yes okay so i will never choose to use that oh i learned lucid dreaming uh, so if you look at the top left of your screen quickly you'll see limit break and there's right. a bar Right. Um, in four mans, it goes to one bar. In four mans, um, with a oh no 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 get me out get me out get me out. What? What? I accidentally voted on it. Oh, 
I didn't even get a vote on it. Damn it. Oh, because we all just left. And you got it both. Oh. Hooray! Um, so yeah, in four mans, you get you get one bar. Huh? In Ooh, I guess time. bosses, you get two bars. And in an eight-man party, you get three bars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three-man parties will save that limit break um, in case um, there's a mechanic, but otherwise, healers will have priority on that because it will revive everyone, fully heal everyone, oh. cure all statuses, and fully recover everyone's mana. Eat. Okay, so I don't want to so use it, this. Right? Well, maybe. Let's see. It will reverse a wipe. That's super cool. Armory chest is full. Fuck! <laughs> Have a good one, Pancake! Stupid inventory is full. Sure, discard that. I don't know. Why does it... Oh. Okay, so I got... Did I not win that pink thing? What was it, a helmet? So if you click on where your inventory is right now, uh -huh. and how you have your screen up, you'll see where it says gear set one. Um, there's a blue sparkling person. I don't see that. I don't even see gear set up one. Okay, mm -mm. here, I will do this for you if you'd like. Oh, there was the pink. What are you doing? So if you see this thing here. Oh, are you sharing your screen in Discord? Oh, all right, hold on. Why can't I see your stream? There it goes, watch stream. Oh god, double sound. Okay, what? Okay, so you got this, let's see, it says gear set. You want a blue shiny person. A blue shiny person. Oh, you wanted me open to the set list, yep. okay. Uh, not, not the set list, the thing beside it. Oh yeah, yeah, the recommended thing. Yes, so I, just, so just, I would say just keep going with that. That's what I've been doing. I'm surprised the pink thing didn't show up. The bracelet? Because uh, you're level 24, what you... Oh, and that's level 15. Also, you left the... <laughs> you left the Discord. <laughs> Josh, you left the Discord. If you didn't realize it. There you go. I always mean to hit stop streaming and hit leave chat instead. I've done that too. So, that's why I kind of was like, oh, right, you got really silent all of a sudden. I was talking to myself through all that. Okay, so push you. So we did the leveling one. So if that's a daily, why doesn't it just go away? You'll see reward already received. Because you can still queue for it. Oh, okay. Just don't get it. Gotcha. Adventure in need, healer. Yeah, so with adventure in need, if you queue for that, you'll get bonus points. Oh, sure. Dang, it's fast. Oh yeah, because I'm also our tank now. Oh, nice. Can you stop? Uh-oh. Sorry. Kitty's in trouble. He's acting out. Is this storm? A cloud. Or, yeah, cloud. I was, for some oh. reason, they're the same in my brain. Okay, so don't breathe in the potion. Yep. Got it. Yeah, I just gotta keep pulling them away. Oh yeah, he, he's, he's a red dope. mage. Oh, I don't even have to fly on because I got level synced. Oh, I got a, a thing, Lucid Dreaming. I didn't even level up. How did I get this? Um, you're level 24 now, I thought. Yeah, you're level 24. Am I? Oh, oh, because yeah, level sync happened in the dungeon. That's yes. probably why I heard a level up sound. Cool. Well, I need to read that. Um, lucid Dreaming is going to reduce the, your amenity and then give you a bunch of uh, mana back. It doesn't say it does the enemy thing. Oh, it must have got rid of that part then. Yeah, it does not. It just gradually restores MP. Yep, it is. For 21 much. seconds. Ah. Is it? It's. I'm assuming it's just for me. Yes, only you. Okay. Okay, so I can't get rid of those. No, only other things. Ah, fucking purple. So this is like the first instance or whatever that's teaching you that you need to stay out of the, yeah. or moving. That's Guild smart. Has teach you help teach you mechanics. That's great. 
that's great that they do that at early levels because in WoW they just it's just tank and spank up until like raids. Achievement unlock, leaving a good impression. You got your first title as well. Ray. Okay, so should we do? If oh. you'd like to do Tamtara, we can do that. I should probably do um turn this in. Oh, it didn't count, man. What? So, so we did this dungeon. No, we didn't do that dungeon. Oh, we did Sistasha. for leveling. Right. Yes. I want to turn off this. There. Okay, I'm figuring that out. Gotcha. Have a good one, Rooster. Let's definitely play some tomorrow. You creepy, creepy little bat things. Cool. First time completion. Hunter for hire, love it. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, one or more party members are new and a bonus, so that's me. I'm giving everyone a bonus. Love that. So what's this A next to your name in the party? You hey, you have an A, I have a two. Now the A is gone. Was okay, that saying you had aggro? You what? So let me know when it shows up again. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, that is your aggro list. A for active, and then it goes in numbers of who has the oh, threat. Oh, cool. Okay. And so, those bars underneath show you how much threat you have. The bars underneath. Oh! Okay. I get it. I get it. Healer at these levels is so boring. You just press cure over and over yep. and over again. <laughs> just... Do some of your crappy DPS and then cure every now and then. I'm second in threat because I'm scary. How am I second in threat? You're healing. Uh, I, I was second even before I healed. Now I'm not. Is it by who you have selected, or is it in general? Like the uh, the threat level that shows up. Uh, the threat level is based on how much threat you're posting pull, pulling out. Oh, so it's not like per you or enemy. Uh, so which one you have selected now shows you how much threat you have for that enemy. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, because that makes sense why I'm two for him. If I'm moving too fast for you, just let me know. No, you're fine. My second monitor just got darker for some reason. No idea why. I just leveled up again? What? Yes, you did. Whoa! Dungeons? Dungeon grinding is insane. Like, you get a fuck ton amount of experience. Yeah, I must because I just You'll leveled. You'll another level after this. Why did my monitor go darker? I don't like that. Oh, so the person, the Amy person here, what are they? 
No, they, man, they blow through all their mana. How? Ah, that's how the Black Mage works. You spend fire and gain fire charges. That should increase the cost of all your spells uh -huh. while using fire. Then ice magic um, reduces all the spells of your cost and gives you back mana. So you use fire to attack cool. and swap to ice to restore it. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. And then, yeah, I, I'm a Black Mage main. Well, I don't know if I'm going to go back to Black Mage. Well, see, that sounds um, fun. They made DPS actually sound kinetic as opposed to push one for fireball, you know, constantly. And then you have thunder, which is dots. Um, and every so often your thunders will um, crit and you get to cast thunder again for free with no cast time, no cost and mm. do an automatic critical and do all the damage it would do during its uh, dot time. Holy crap. That sounds awesome. Someone just leveled again. So you hear when friends level, it, uh, the victory you sound is just quieter. Levels. Okay. But I don't see anyone in the party chat who said they leveled. Did you not hear the level sound? Oh, you brought that. You heard that sound because you won the draw for your. Oh. Loot. Okay. I guess everyone is passing because they're all like, "No, we're higher levels. We're just doing this." <laughs> nope. Someone you outrolled someone on one of them. Oh. Okay. I rolled green. Oh, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Once you guys finish your first three dungeons, you can do Palace of the Dead. It's a solo instance. Whoa. It's a dungeon inside of a dungeon. Sorry, it's one to four people. Flexible. Um, you start at level one with any class, and you go every like two kills gives you a level in, <laughs> in the small dungeon. If you can do it, um, just killing an enemy. Right. But the nice thing is, you do ten floors, and once you finish the ten floors and kill the boss, you just get a whopping chunk of experience. You can do that as a level one in a class, um, or do you, you bring do a higher level with you? No, you just do. You do anything. So you start at level one, floor one, and by the time you hit like floor 10, you're level 30. What? That sounds bananas. It, it, but then once you leave the instance, you go back to your normal level and get a huge chunk of experience. Huh. So let's say you go in there at 16, you come, you go in at one. And then when you leave, you're like level 30 in there, but you get a chunk of experience, you might go to level 18 from that. Oh. And then there's a bunch of uh, glamour mounts, um, glowing weapons, and such you can get from it too. Holy crap. What's up, Psychotics? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Wait, didn't we just do this? You were gonna have a bunch of them. All right, I'll blind one because they're annoying. I really need to clean out my armor inventory or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me dead. can't wear hats take it if you get a better robe you can uh oh those earrings are better also, than mine this, these dungeons are also way under geared for you i kind of figured since it's nuking my level <laughs> although i did win those earrings i think Oh, too bad you don't have, uh, 
he didn't get the old. Oh, look at me! I'm in a hat. I won. Oh, I won the hat, and it was better than the robe, so it switched my gear. That's cool. Look at me being fancy. Oh, that robe you got will last you a while. Uh, why didn't it just heal you? There it goes. Stinking bugs. There's a patrol in that little area. Oh, they're not coming out. Nope. And not quite really off, there's just nothing except a little bit extra kill. If you want to do the extra, that's fine with mail for it. I if we don't need it, there's no reason. Yeah, eat my rocks, I got the kill. So when it did the, like, someone is new to this, does that actually check, like, your whole account? Or does that just say, hey, it's new on this class? Uh, no, that's your uh, whole account. Oh, wow. New so Dungeons are account-wide. So essentially... Or, uh, not account-wide, character-wide. Okay, so these people were like, alright, this character could be a new player. Yes. Gotcha. But they could also be new to themselves. Because our blacksmith, or sorry, our blacksmith, black, black mage only is level 21, mm -hmm. and our lancer is only 22. So it's very possible that they're also new. Oh, neat. And for me, that means I get second chance points. Second chance points? What's that? Once you get to level 60, you can start doing this thing called Wondrous Tales, mm -hmm. and it's like a bingo game. So by doing a level 1 to 49 dungeon, I get a stamp. And you get 9 stamps, um, and you can turn them in for rewards. Dude, man, they thought of so much for this game to, like, encourage you to go back and replay through content. Mm -hmm. Instead of pulling the wild, it's like, we're gonna speed level you through this whole fucking game to get to end game content, which blows. Yeah, the only way you can get second chance points is by doing dungeons. Uh, so second chance points, um... Let's you, let's say I don't want to do, it gives you 12 options to get a, a bingo spot. Let's say okay. I only like one of them. I spend a second chance point and it reopens that one and closes something it. else off. Okay. I wish I could reorganize the party. So I could be like tank always at the top. Uh, it will be. It will always go tanks, uh, you first. Yeah, that's what I mean. Tanks, don't put me first. Dude. I don't want me first. Put tank at the top yes. and put me at the bottom. That has been the biggest people's want for so long. Really? As a healer, I feel that. I don't want to heal myself first. I want to heal yeah. the tanks first. I push one. I push F1. Give me tank. Yeah, which is which is nice because like the F1 to 4 is basically tanks and heals. Yeah. That's funny. They have... All right, grab in the... But I won't complain. They have fucking crazy customizations, so... Also, those tidy whities is wearing, mm -hmm. they're just a simple level, like, 14 armor piece that I put white dye on worth 400k. 
Oh my god. I told you I I'm pretty well off. Wait, you did that? Um, just, just was that a transmog or are those actual whitey tidies you're wearing? Like they're a piece of garbage that's gear. That's just a transmog. Okay. That's a transmog of level 14 gear. Okay, so you got the level 14 gear, you put the $400,000 die on it, and then made it a transmog. Got it. Yep. That's funny. I like that it's playing prelude music in the, the background. Okay, so this one actually has mechanics to it, this boss fight. Like, this one that we're on now, or the one coming up? The one coming up. Okay, because I was like, so, I'm just tanking spanking. They're gonna summon things, uh, and then you're gonna see two little imps with tethers. As long as the imps are alive, the boss cannot be hurt. Made sense. I was gonna say that. Alright, well, whatever loot was in there, I don't know what it is, because now we have a void ball. Oh, somebody's weeping the void to his eye within this cruel vessel. That's probably how he talks. He only has tentacles. Um. You're all new. Neat. Let's go, boy! For this one, it'll probably be the Black Mage who'll want to win the break. Because it'll he'll nuke it. Oh, uh, okay, so there's the of... there's the tentacle. So we need to switch focus. Wait, they're showing yep. me their ass. That's rude. He's shaking his ass in front of me. Yeah, get murdered. We got Skeleton. Yep, and then the one after this will be uh -oh. five ads and um, two imps. Okay, I'm gonna focus on heals here. out of range. Move, person! No, don't jump! Move! Jeez. Alright, they should be coming any second. There they are. There okay. Go. Kill the purple. Kill the purple. So he should be using limit break for us right now, right? Yes, he should, he should be limit breaking. Good boy. Neat. All right, there's a, an imp over here. Yep. Shield so boss. was his limit break like a meteor or something? I didn't see it. Uh, it's it just summons like small little stars to blast down. Okay, and he took out um, everyone then, that was on him. Yeah, the second one, I forget what the second one is. But then the third one is actually meteor. Cool. Every class, their third limit break is different. Me! Me! I got the kill! <laughs> Why is my monitor so dark? Okay, I need to commend. Um, who's the black mage? The one Amy. that has like the fiery things. Yeah, it was, well, I mean, I was commending him. It was Amy. Boots! Suck. Blendwer. Okay, it's fine. Oh! It's because it went into, like, some sort of energy save mode. That's new. Okay. Weird. We're fine now. Oh, leave. We did it! I'm level 26! Okay, so I should be able to turn in... Okay, so it wants me to go back to New Gridania. BRB! Welcome back, Faith and Relight. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the deep croft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. You've made such a habit of succeeding that it's difficult not to take your talents for granted. Rest assured, however, your mother is impressed, even if she isn't surprised. Oh, Lord Lewin asked me to pass down his thanks. 
I must say, it's something for relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage sort of work for able souls such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves with predictable consequences. Ah, as if to illustrate the point. Short person. Oh, that's sad. A very gone, and it's all your fault! If you hadn't taken your age to heal him, taking you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. Why didn't you just resurrect him? But I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He should have been hard. He shouldn't have been so hard pressed in the first place. We should have done more alert to lighten his burden. I just held you this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving. It'd be too soon if I ever see your faces again. Goodbye, Uncle Riddens. Wow, what toxic people. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. Wow, people are ass. I only suffered you for the healing, but you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though that may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by the way, some parting advice. Get rid of Vera's head. Wow, that's fucked. Vera, cremate it, do whatever the hell you like with it. But for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It, it's just, get rid of it. Ew, she's carrying his head around? That's gross. Wait, don't leave me alone, please. I'm sorry, Vera, please forgive me. I feel bad for her. Hey, you want to be on my team? Seems like this have become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for your adventures first of your experience. I can send women like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Ulda. She seeks the services of, services of a reliable adventurer, and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word and I'll be glad to share the details with you. Sure. <gasps> Birch, jump on in. Social. Greens. Invite. Nice. What was I doing? Oh, I need to talk to her, right? Stop it. I'm trying to. So you're not averse to talk, taking a little trip? Wonderful. As I mentioned earlier, the request comes from us from the Adventurer's Guild in Ulda. Once you arrive, seek out Momodi, the proprietress of the quicksand. Think of her as the Sultanate's version of myself. Chances are she'll send you in for the midst of danger, but I have every confidence that they will pull through. Oh, Jaden knocked over a thing. You'll pull through unscathed. Now off you go, Faith. Good luck. Cool. What you doing, Jada? What you doing, Jada? Oh, I need to... Where is... Where is it that I look up my currency for my achievements? Is that my intro? Party, armory, achievements. Still only have four points. But my points went down. There it goes. It just didn't load. Oof. There's a lot going on there. Oof. Alright, I gotta talk to this dude. I like my outfit. That person's name is Doctor. It feels good. Welcome, Faith. The tales of your deeds reach me even here in the cloistered heart of Stillgate Vane. Glad I'm not. Glad I am that you have come, for I would ask your assistance in the matter of some delicacy. It concerns, yes, young Sylvie once again. As you can no doubt imagine, the recent revelations concerning her mother have sorely troubled the poor girl child. It appears Sylvie needs some time alone to sort through the whirlwind of emotions in which now beset her. She has, in short, fled from the guild. Fortunately, a party of conjurers who were dispatched to the South Shroud to investigate another instance of corruption sent word that they have spotted our wayward Sylphie. Considering the importance of their mission, I would not seek to distract the conjurers from their task. Thus, I turn to you to escort Sylphie back here to the guild. You are, I believe, one of the few people to whom she will listen. Trave travel to Buscarin's Druthers and speak with Wolfie. With Wolfie, the weird name. She was the conjurer who first chance upon Sylphie and will be able to tell you more. How the young lady fares. Okie dokie. <gasps> Merch, I see you popped into Discord. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. I am doing well. I am going to... I was just eating, so I will chill for you by your next dungeon, because I'm right by it. I did that last night. Uh, do we have another one coming up? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, yeah, basically have three consecutively. So, mm -hmm. do I need to do the main quest to unlock it? Is that what it's trying to get me to do? Yes. Okay, so I need to go to Old Dawn. Okay, let's go hurry up and do that then. I always forget where the freaking Zeppelin person is. Boy has the penis. I want it. He has a penis? Behemoth. Oh. Oof. Wait. 
like like a mount or the baby yeah. pig no the mount that uh we need achievement points for oh that's what i'm working on saving on it for yes i would like a mount i need two more oh god where's the zeppelin oh it's probably new gridonia huh someone's name over here is dark farts <laughs> Okay, now let's find the Need better gear. Airship landing. Can't I just teleport to that? Yes. Hi, friend. I'd like to go to Ulda, please. Thank you. Why wouldn't you just teleport and save yourself a few load screens? Because I'm cheap as fuck. I gave you money specifically to help you out with that. <laughs> yeah, but it's a cutscene that you can skip. Look, I'm already here. Done. <laughs> I'm gonna put that money to better use than cutscenes. Given, uh, wait, where do I need to go? Call of the desert. The like immediate aggression made me giggle. <laughs> that was my money that I gave you. I need to go I to the adventurers guild. I'm gonna use that money to teleport. Okay, where am I? I am not there. That person is lagging out. <laughs> What'd you do? I posted a meme of sweet potatoes in the last chat and it hit Discord's algorithm for NSFW. <laughs> it's sweet potatoes. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of posts about that lately where someone posts like something that is not loot like it's an object it's just an object and it's like this has been flagged as not safe for work welcome to the quick sun friend i'm tech busy right now if you wouldn't mind showing yourself to oh yes in my your determined expression i take it you ain't here for real are you called face gains borrow by any chance aaron said where did you report him for duty she also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment that ain't no small praise coming from her but did you come all this way to listen to my prattle Doubtless you're eager to get started. So let's talk business, shall we? This person has a rooster head. Okay. No, move, person! You're making it so I can't click. The practitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. God so almighty! Another second under the sun, and I would have been set afire. A tanker to avail. Oh, this is a different person. God so almighty! Another second under the sun, I would have been set afire. A tanker to avail, if you would be so kind. Who's this person? I was going to say it's a tiny person. Makes sense. I'm keeping that voice. Excellent timing, Papa Sean. It just so happens the adventurer who'll be handling your petition is here. So this winsome lass is a much lauded adventurer, is she? Marvelous, marvelous. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my lady. I am Papa Sean, formerly of the Sultan Swan. I thank you for agreeing to lend your hand in this aid. I have you think you'd like to apprise face of her mission. Yes, of course. The petition in question was, sub was submitted by an acquaintance of mine. At Amagina and Sun's mineral concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at uh, Copper Bell Mines. To be plain, plants have seized control of the place. Oh, giants, not plants. These giants of the clan are known to be. What the fuck? Hecaton cherries. Here are some creatures who were sealed with the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone Thorn Dynasty. Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock which serves to imprison them, and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. The creatures are just fiercely angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors, and the presence has forced the suspension of all mining activities at the site. It's no wonder they're angry. Can the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, my lady. The people of the age used the blah to work their mines. By way of enchanted helms, they were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will. But as is off the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up to, against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of them, our ancestors induced the collapse of the mines, lowermost levels. It was that the great giant revolt was ended, buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rock. Well now, that's got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Copper Bell and Mithril Eye a fortnight or so ago. It said the mines were being already opened so as to meet the rising demand for building materials. Like as not, our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. The dwarves dug too deep and too greedily. To think those poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. They must be seasoned. 
Indeed. And that makes them a danger to us all. There'll be no mining at the Copper Bell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is a task which we have you to undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great, and so I beg you to put an end to this sort of business. Gods bless you! I feared you might have reservations, but I assured you for the, I assure you it is for the best. Hmm. In case you don't know, Copper Mara Mines are to the Western Sandalan. You take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Amija and Sons is presently in the quicksand. The fellow's name is Painted Mesa, and he knows the Copper Bell Mines well. It may behoove you to seek his counsel. Oh, Josh, question for you. When it, com so. when it comes to your inventory and you do the like recommended button. Yes. I'm assuming that only looks in your armory chest. Correct. Okay. Because that's why I've been putting everything in my armory chest. So we would just compare it. By default, all equipment goes in there unless you craft it. Oh, okay. Sword. So once stuff goes into your inventory, that slot of your armory it's chest full. is full. Okay, so I need to really get rid of some of my crap because my weapons thing is full. You have 35 slots, it looks like. My armory is almost full. Wait a minute, did I not accept that quest? Oh, per person right here. Looking for Painted Mesa? You found him! So you're the adventurer who's volunteered to deal with the mess down in Copper Bell, are you? You've got guts, miss. I just hope you've got skills to go with him. This thing's even pretty down there. The blurbs left the place in right state and nearly a week after mining resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copperbell was old when the second UI dynasty was still young. And it was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of minerals needed for the rebuilding effort, the concern would never have thought to reopen it. We knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under a mountain's worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong! Our miners dug up more than they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless you can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will grind to a halt for want of aught to build with. The stone torches, keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way. The hope of the nation's resting on you, friend. Best of luck! Okay, next. I'm going... I am teleporting. I do not care. Okay. I think that... Maybe Birch is there. I'm not sure. And I'm going to teleport in just a second. I was, I need to upgrade my gear kind of bad. Oh, that's fine. I, I just didn't know if this was the instance, but I'm assuming it is. I'm pretty sure you're in the Oh, right spot. I was here earlier, um, farming mine stuff. There's been an incident inside Cooper Bell Mines. We are here to ensure that its effect are, effects are contained. But for your own safety, I suggest you stay well away from here. What? You're the adventurer who's volunteered to quell the blips? I didn't think that Papachon would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. The giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now, but it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see to them, the better. Make ready your best you can and enter at will. Sick. Alright. Ready when you guys are. Just give me like 30-ish seconds. No problemo. I'm down for you to hit the go button whenever. Okay. Oh, so we're waiting on me, is what you're saying. Yep. I got you. It's all your fault. <laughs> I'm almost done, I swear. Look at this little tiny chocobo. <gasps> the chocobos change size depending on your race. I love it. He's got spikies. This guy's name is Smalls, yo. Good job. One second, one second. Sorry. What happened? Is he dealing with cat? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> I had to stop them from. And I was like, oh shit. But look, sorry, uh, you can ask me. I'm gonna. Look at uh, this little tiny. I was just gonna ask if I'm running through this uh, dungeon again. Does it? Do you think I'll level up more than once? I don't know, but always remember, eat food. I was just going to say that. I'm going to eat. Food will always give you 3% bonus. Yum. And it stacks twice. <gasps> so you can do it for up to an hour. Oh, really? So I should just eat twice? Yeah, why not? Sick. Dude, cool. you don't have to sit here on the ground and wait 30 seconds? Oh, so yeah. nice. 
Are you ready, Josh? Um, yes, I was just about to say, okay. I'm ready. Cool. Ink, ink. I have done the food things. That was speedy as fuck. Uh, I put on tank, and we have base up on healer, so. That's fair. It's the random we have to wait for. Holy crap, my inventory is actually almost full. I have so many potions. <laughs> I feel like I'm dressed like a Chad. I'm excited to see it. I like your sword. It's a gun blade, thank you very much. Oh, uh, real guard, thank you. I think it's the second boss. Either the second or first boss is very mechanics heavy. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was the second one. The bomb, right? Oh, that's the first one. Okay, yeah, that one's the mechanics heavy. Yes. Idol Puncher, I love their name. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's you! Cool, now I, I feel less weird. Oh, I'm small? Yes. I was gonna say, you're a small dragon girl. Pat pat. I am. I chose to be a small bean. Oh, she's a black mage too, then, huh? Mm-hmm. So when it comes time, oh no, never mind, my bad. When it comes for limit breaks, um, range should have it for more damage. Oh, you are gonna aggro. Did D level us again? <laughs> Apparently, I over leveled the main story quest, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, but it's bound to happen. Okay. I guess they do want you to get through it and not get disheartened of not getting through it, huh? Uh, that's what I said to, I think, Birch the other night is that by the time you'll get your. If you just do solely main story quest, by the time you get your Chocobo, you're uh, 25. Oh, nice. Yeah. Why? Pork, pork. Why? Where? Stop! Hold on a second. I a thing! Hey, Something, something's enough. going on. <laughs> enough. Leave it. They came into the computer room just to bark at me about <laughs> something happening outside. Go. Grabbing that boy. We all three match. We all three have the same thing. 
similar. Yeah. My oh yeah, yours is slightly different. Similarly. Oops. <clears throat> Beginners. <clears throat> Sorry. Thanks. I just can't get rid of this cough. You're just real upset we, that you can't be a beginner anymore. That's what it is. We appreciate the love. I don't want to be one. <laughs> I work too hard on this. <laughs> I don't know if I told you, but so on the party, right click on my name and hit view search info. Oh, is those the levels? Is 680 the max level? Yeah. Sweet. I yeah, put you... too much time in this. <laughs> this kind of looks like dead mines. I feel that. Um, the best thing about the Gunblade is that later on in the, like, max level, you have, like, a nine-hit combo, and it's so beautiful. Oh, you just, like, you go full, not, not oh, Constantine, yeah. but... What's the name of that movie? Equilibrium? Is that it? Yes, it's the second boss. Is it? I thought it was here. No, nope, here you just kill things. Oh, okay. When that said that's going to be sealed off, did that mean that I couldn't get in it? Once it gets sealed off, it'll tell you your party's doing a fight. Oh. And you have, you can hit yes then, or you're locked out. Oh, okay. I'm assuming these guys are just meant to try to make you to waste your mana because they just die. Oh, they just die. Yeah, and then we're gonna get a flame bow, then more of those, and then big boy comes in. Yeah, these guys just died. I don't even get a chance to do anything to them. Here, poke. Yeah, get poked. What was that? Was that a cat noise? That's my cat. That sounded like a person. That's, that's Ajax. Big boy should be up. There he is. Oh, hey, buddy. You're big. Murdered. You go squish. The thing is, I don't know who she's playing with. She's just running around. And because it's kind of dark in that area, I'm not sure if it's Ember or not. <laughs> so you hope that they're just playing? Well, she's spazzing out, attacking the couch, and crying like that, so... <laughs> if they're playing together, that's great, because she's still a biatch to Ember. Right. You're just kind of hoping that she's playing and not being a biatch. Yeah, we also learned that Ember doesn't know how to play as a cat, only as a kitten. 
and so she gets overly aggressive. Oh her no! So tiny. She pinned down Cloud and was like sinking her teeth into him. Oh jeez! I was like, no, we're not having any of that. Powder chamber. Uh, come on. Do we not need this powder? We, we, need, we need to clear up both, all the rooms. We need all the powder. Oh, too late. Oh, the powder chamber is where we put the powder. Yes. We need to get the powder first. And we get power by killing the bombs. Gotcha. All right. Kill the bombs. I like this little f floaty yellow one. I don't know what it is. It's like a blob. Like a yeah, soul. Uh, they become very popular around the 30s. And what they do is an AoE around you that drains your mana. It slows you. Well, I don't like that bit. But they're adorable. Other oh, person is going somewhere. Oh, she's. Oh, she's found a chest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a little neat side room. She's looking for other cats to play with now. Oh, <laughs> that's why she's yelling. She's screaming for him. Yeah, um, she grabs the toys they like. And like like little springs, it puts them. it on the ground and pulls at it to make noise so they'll come. <laughs> I feel like she's smart. She's yeah, so yep. smart. I feel like playing right now, so you're coming over here. Yeah, she. It's literally what it is. She's. Oh, I, did, I didn't mean to greet that. I want to pass. No, good for me. All right, so what you're going to do here, Vasif, mm -hmm. is Blob. nothing. What? Oh, yeah. I'm no. going to hit it. Okay. Yeah, don't do anything. And I'm going to make this thing come over here. And we have to wait for it to self-destruct. So you don't want me to actually Vasif. DPS or anything? Yeah, don't do anything. I'm not even... Okay. I think you do have to hit the blasting cap some to get it a little... There we go. Because the other person is definitely you DPSing. You can heal me. Okay. Yeah, but they're new. Are you? Oh, are you supposed to not hit it because it splits? They're gonna. It takes no damage. Yeah, oh. they don't do anything. <laughs> there you go. And then two becomes four. Uh, you do want to kill this thing, though. No. With yeah. the bomb. The one that I just. I oh, the uh, the black thing. The yeah. rabbit. And one more. Just gotta wait for it. I won't lie, when I first went through this, it took us a hot minute because all of us were beginners. And you were just murdering, <laughs> murdering the bombs. <laughs> well, we just weren't paying attention. All right, the same number. You can uh, rabbit things can. out. Yep. I'm pulling him to you. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, we got him. Come on, dude. Come on. And boom. Now go ham. Now kill him? Alright. Boom. Easy. Okay. She's so keen on doing everything. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna fight here. <laughs> I don't care. I'm okay. Right. I'm a hardworking, like lazy XP person. Or the cheap way. Oh God. Uh, I would are... prefer. Well. I just leveled. I don't know if our friend would want more XP or not. I'm down for more. She's XP. going whatever this way is. So. This is the normal path thing. Those things are yeesh. Oh, 
I was telling my friends um, the other day about the pom pom crabs you introduced me to. Aren't those awesome? They're so cute. They, they so dance. Great. I'm like, that is the life. Hey, there's a. Come over here, there's yep. a chest. Oh, you want the chest that's over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where? With all the bugs. Right here. Right here. The errant soul. Yeah. Um, in the last fight, you're gonna ignore everything and just focus the boss. Uh, when you say and heal, of course. Except heal, okay. Yeah, just just DPS the boss. Okay. Well, that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's gonna start summoning a bunch of things, and you're oh. just be like, what? And yeah. just just ignore them. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't even need to really pull aggro on them. Eat my waters. I'm about to level again. Jeez. But don't forget, you're also gonna get that finished dungeon bonus. Mm-hmm. My favorite dungeon is known for being like a sadistic dungeon. What is just mechanics heavy? Insanely mechanics heavy, okay, and okay. everything is just um, Ochus and Malboros. The <laughs> angry boy coming through, buddy. Okay, so this, I just don't, this is the one we don't do about the ads, yeah? Yep. We just gonna tank and spank. And he's not really gonna do much too. He's gonna hit a wall a bunch of times. Okay. Zing! Oh, so he breaks a wall open and summons friends. Yep. Gotcha. And then they go to break up more walls open to summon more friends, too. Gotcha. But we'll give him a love tap, just so he knows to come back. Oh, he's not coming back. Attack no, 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 he's gonna, yeah, just leave him be. Oh, he's gonna go attack a thing, gotcha. Yep, but afterwards, he'll come back. He's coming back for them sweet cheeks. Uh, feel free to limit break whenever you want there, uh, Birch. I figured as much. I wasn't sure, uh, oops, if they were going to The or mage not. was going to take it? No, yeah. he, he, uh, range has stronger than mage. Oh. Mage encompasses more of an area. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I haven't had to heal you. Really range mage. It's now. And then everyone, uh, no, I want to be everyone. Boom. Sweet. Oh no, they beat me. Are you being good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My dog just popped up next to me like, reward me, I've been good. Go lay Opal. Where am I going? Oh. 
Bye. Need any of that? I got the commendation. Just saying. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> we 2047. did it. Um, now it wants us to go back to Ulda. We. <gasps> there was pig in pajamas. I need him. Hey, person, we dealt with your giant problem, even though there's only like three. So, you're super glowy. Oh, I have to do a quest battle alone. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, those will pop it every now and then. All right, hold on. That's good because I'm gonna go get another drink. <laughs> no, is it gonna put me back into that dungeon? Okay. Oh, the Conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operation can resume. And Ulda will have the materials she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. I'll share the good titans with Pap Papachon the next time I see him. As for you, you'll want to repeat to Momodi. It'll do the woman well, well. It'll do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. Oh, someone's screaming. He doesn't seem to care at all. Uh-oh. Shut your mouth, you spieving little swine! You stole from me, don't you think, to deny it? Well, his name is Obnoxious Merchant, so I think we should beat him up. Please! I... I didn't steal nothing. I... I bought this, paid for it with my own coin. But rot! You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mole meat. Much less a choice it could have, Dodo. Well, can I fuck this dude up? I'm going to say one more time. Give me back what you're stole, I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades, you know. Help keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens, but I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities need to hear your crime. You're a piece of shit. Let's fuck him up. Get him. Your stupid-ass haircut. Step in front of her. I, but I ain't done nothing wrong. Promise me witness. Really? No one's gonna step up? Please, adventurer, help me. I beg you. I swore on me mother's grave I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with the coal I had saved. I only want to treat me children to a decent meal. Alright. I'm gonna murder him. Don't worry. Get him, basically. I'm gonna murder you. And who the hell are you here when you're at home? The dog's master? Oh! Speak less. You're murdered. I've had enough of them murmurs face. You like teach him a lesson. Oh, you think you're gonna do something with that fist? I'm gonna shove it right up your own ass. Can you teach me that trick later? <laughs> if you consider that a trick. Usually it's a two person job, Josh, all right? You just gonna stand there and just let me beat your face in? This is fine. Wow, you did no damage. You're cute. Dude! I heal faster than he does damage. I wish I did more damage, because I'm just kind of poking him, I guess. Come here, Raukus bodyguard. Here, eat, eat my, my dot. Here, you too. Take my dots. You're a caster, so get murdered. You're dead. You're next. You're dead. Next! Come here, bitch! Oh. No! Give me the leader, man! I'm gonna kick him off the bridge. Everyone's clapping this guy. Okay. I didn't pay enough for this. Then get the fuck out of here. Hey, where the hell you think you're going? I'm gonna... Let me throw him over the bridge. No! Thank you, kind of adventurer. Thank you thrice over. No problem. Get home. No! My hallucinations, they're back! This is the worst time to be hallucinating. Okay, duh. I swear there might be more refugees. I swear there were more refugees than when I last looked. Oh, it's that. It's the dude. It's the dude. Is it the dude? Kind of looks like him. 
and you wouldn't be mistaken. It's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? It's simple, really. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from the trade routes, and problems like those aren't easily solved. Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? It's the same thing happening in other cities. If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. All those had a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try to make their luck here first. My heart goes out to them. It truly does. But I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope the presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worst, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say where the blast blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Garlean Emperor patrolling the streets for riffraff? It may well come to that. And impoverished and desperate as they are, you may find sure that there's some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what the place is like. If you've no coin, you've no hope. <sighs> what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo, er. Hey! Dodo tenderloins! Get your dodo tenderloins! Guaranteed cheapies in Thailand. They're slightly rotten, but don't pay you no mind. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Look around, you think that Uldo was well on its way to recovery. Appear through the veil of prosperity and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Trying to make me feel bad for that dude? Because I don't. Madam, uh, are you alright? I passed out again. Nope, I'm fine. Hi. I'm fine. You just started to into space for a couple minutes. Don't worry. Uh, what now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? Fuck off, bro! Oh, dude. I want to beat him to a pulp. What? Saw her buy that meat, you say? That's absurd. I guess I need to leave the poor one alone, you damn bull vulture. Who said that? Uh, oh, look, there's just this once. Oh, dude, no, let me beat him up. God's bless you, adventurer. If he hadn't come along when you did, who knows that monster might have done. I don't bear thinking about. Goodbye. Also, wasn't that, like, forever ago? And how did I see it through their lives? That's weird. He's closed. Oh, hi, it's you. I've been keeping close eye on you ever since you left Gridonia. You discharged the duty as envoy impeccably, and never once faltered in the face of myriad of dangers. But more importantly, you were always ready to help those in need, even if you didn't stand to earn a guild by doing so. You are possessed of the qualities we seek in an adventurer. Of this we are convinced. Don't, I don't have to wear those stupid goggles, do I? Even if you were kind of dragged into the business with the dodo meat. Yes. Thank you, Ida. <clears throat> and then there's the matter of the old gift. I dare say you are curious as to the nature of the vision you bore witness two moments ago. Well, can you help to understand it? Yes, yeah, explain. You're not the only one with the power, you know. We have a friend who has it too, and we'd love for you to meet her. Sure. In meeting her is only the beginning. But we also have you lend your strength to our cause. In return, we shall glad you... We, we should be glad to assist your adventuring endeavors whenever we are... Wait, bleh. Whenever we are able. Should you decide to take us up on our offer, and I certainly hope you will, pray speak with Mabodi. The proprietor of Quicksand is a good friend of ours. She will tell you where to find us. Goodbye. Wait a minute. We haven't even told you the name of our order. We're the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Defenders of Justice. Oh, we don't tell anyone, except for Mabodi. She knows already. Okay, how do you keep your clothes so white? I'm going back this way. Yeet. You cutscene, I think, to get through. Another one? Yeah. You have to get there first. Hmm. Seems like that's becoming ever more common. I'm afraid. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, you'll probably be alright. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't get 
go past me every time you graze your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. Ah, face! Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. You're lucky you, no one would ever guess you'd been hard at it with the giants in the dark. Your every elm the adventurer Mion said you would be, face. The station master will be overjoyed when he hears the news. Oh, before you forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew she met you right away. It's you! You want to join my friend party? Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. My name's Ida. I'm an adventurer just like you. Though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... When it... Uh, I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when, when the leader of our party was killed. Just resurrect him. His name was Ever, and he and I were to be wed in the spring. You may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you were, you see. An adventurer is adventurer. And he swore that he would be like you one day. How did he know me? I believe that he would have succeeded had a friend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. But when I think of the woman you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I'm inspired just as Avera was once. And so I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first. I ask you your name. Eba There you go. Faith Scansboro. I shan't forget. Thank you, Faith Scansboro. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Goodbye. Adventuring can be cruel blatant business. I was. I didn't know anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't want ought to do with you lot. Thought it'd be right pain in the arse looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post. And I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, face. Yeah? What'd you say? You want to know about the science of the Seventh Dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest then. Listen, face, the science aren't no ordinary folk, and the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about the attempted some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you still certainly want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Alright, tell me what you can. So you want to know more, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear if I if I painted certain death on the door and limitless wealth on the other, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first. And the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being old on. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these signs of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who've come, who've made it their mission to solve some of Azoria's most present, present problems. Of course... <laughs> I didn't have my thing on. Of course there ain't no small task and you always be looking for dependable individuals to join in. Individuals like you, Faith. Now, I'll be giving you leave to tell you where to find the signs. But you must promise to keep this information to yourself. And you can probably imagine that some of Azoria's enemies would very much like to know. The Science are headquartered in Vesper Bay, onto Western Theremin, down in Lune. The place you're looking for is called Wakened Sands. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll, you'll be let in. You're a woman in demand, Face, and the days that I had promised to be is busy. But I hope you won't forget about them as to help make you into the venture you are. Drop in and tell them how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Right, well, I've said my piece. Off you go. Oof. Okay, all the way over there. I can teleport here. Zing! I'm doing Jai Jai. Hero Pato? Is that a Harry Potter reference? Grizzbear? Whoa. What's that thing? That's creepy. Whoa! What's that? Everyone here has cool mounts. Move, I want to see the face. <laughs> She's adorable. Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms. Yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. Did she just did she just do the Trollolo song? I 
thank you to not stick up on me like that. Now please be advised that this is a private property. Unless you have pertinent business here. I must ask you to... Hi, it's me. Tatara is precious. I love her. She reminds me of your little sister. Here at the behest of Eden and Papillon. It's Papillon, right? But Papillon is so much easier to say. My sincerest apologies. May I may have to use Sam your name? Face Gainsborough. Face Gainsborough. Ah! There you are. <laughs> I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the science of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tajiro, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The Ascendant is with the Solar Shop that you know to expect you. I like her little dance moves. Downstairs, probably? Nope. Um, it's gotta be downstairs. Oh, it's a, it's a button to click. I'll take it to face Gainsborough. Tajiro, you send word that you had arrived. Lady Minfilia has eager awaited your coming. This way, if you please. I gotta choose a thing. Honey, I think I need to turn those in for money. Whoa, look Let's at her outfit. So you are the adventurer of whom I've heard Scared so me. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You're pretty. I have awaited your coming. Please. Be at ease. You are among friends here. I made some new friends. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. I'm ripe to burst something. Patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the scions of the Who is your summoner? And what does he do? transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea. Nay, the world at large. And we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? No, but if you have those, some of those mushrooms, let me know. These things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. Oh, they're explaining that. Okay. You can interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. Sweet, it's an inside check. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I too possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures Aren't they just natural occurring taken. things? Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, 
Lend us your power. Oh shit, now it's not voice acted anymore. Actually, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and a word for me, they will be gladly afford certain privileges that might otherwise be denied us. Denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. It's you! The papers! You request them, my lady! Adorable little smile. There you go. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Thank you, Tartaru. A pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of welcoming gifts, I've taken the liberty of adding my name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You'll need to consult a retainer or vocate in regarding the particulars of the arrangement. But believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let the jester serve as an evidence of a commitment to all do all in our power to facilitate the personal objectives. In return, we ask you to aid us in the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I'm sure you will agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we could offer you, I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with the Order's password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. You should have told me about a password before or after I agreed to join you. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. I can hire a retainer now. Neat. We signs believe we signs have but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. You already said that. I know not what it is your desire for yourself, nor what it is for the first brought to you the Eorzea, but I believe I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me an answer, Faith. Did they just recap recap it, I guess? I will go with the wild blue and bros. Yours is no small endeavor. But here you go. I take it you will help us. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come. I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there! Welcome! I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. Me too. I know her voice. I have to look it up. Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. Oh, I thought he said Bankred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. So. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings.
last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. She plays Rachel Alucard in Blas Blue. No way. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, she, she's a voice actor for Pillars of Eternity. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Pleased to make your acquaintance. All right, my voice for her was close. Best babies. In time. I hope you will Best come babies. to think of us as family. Okay, right, so you get it. Mom's gonna shift. But without further ado. I would assign you your first task. Orianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Oh, and she's the... female character for Code Vein. Okay. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. Waylaid and divested. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would. Within a bell, does that mean within an hour? Kidnappers and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However. This time, we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. Yo, let's go if see Ifrit. If consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, fair lady. Okay, talk to this guy now. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is likely that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on the caravan, our friends at the Am Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern have doubled security over their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abduction sh should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missions are missing were last seen in the vicinity of the Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. Okay. Holy crap. 
<laughs> Someone came flying in on my face. Oh god, it's all the way over there now? <laughs> I haven't even been over here yet. Fuck. That's gonna take forever. What are you guys doing? Are you guys doing some runs? Josh is off doing a dungeon. Yeah. And I am trying to figure out where I need to put this stupid corpse. Corpse? I forgot that we're in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> but I am catching up on content that I missed. Gotcha. Ooh. Yeah, this corpse is just up high and I forgot how you're supposed to get to it. It has been a minute. Oh, am I just- I'm just not paying enough attention? No. How? Am confusion. Am I going in the- I think I'm going in the wrong direction. How the fuck do I get over there? It's just a giant wall. Ah, there we go. <laughs> the burning is so painful. Would it help to tell you that you're less than 10 quests away from your mount? Maybe. <laughs> it's still a crap ton of running. Someone disconnected and they came back and we're like, oh, welcome back. And they're like, I'm like, yeah, bring old daddy bear here. A beer on your way in, please. <laughs> and they responded, how do you block someone from chat again? <laughs> <laughs> I talked to all the people here. Get this stinking thing. All right, which one do I got to go to? I need to go to Eastern. There's a fate here called Tiny Chris, and I kind of want to see what it is. <laughs> Toxic Toad? I didn't know there was Redditors in this game. Ugh, I'm almost there. Mm. Well, these boys are adorable. They're like spiky hippos. Hi, I'm Izma. Izmabar. Here to search for missing folk, I take it? In film, I sent word that an adventure fitting your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary that Amal Jah. It seems we know who the culprits are, at the very least. And now I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to, sit to look to me for leadership. You may hear my words, I'll do all I can to help see that the victim safely returned. Cool. Ooh, glamour dispeller. It absorbs magical light when woven into a glamour piece of equipment, dispelling the optical illusion. What? Let us get right to it then. Men Vilma names that the Amal Amal ja, ja, culprits in all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been leveled, or levied on these lands by Amal ja hands. The flames burn when they might, but the light cannot stay in the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders of callers at the church of St. Adam on Landama. Innocents wishing no more than to pay their respects to the dead. The poor souls deserve a proper burial. I will see to the deed. See to the deed before mongrels catch their scent, but I know not if Almalja still linger. Would you secure the remains for me, friend? You will find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing, you may even come to learn something of what the Almalja seek in this area. Alright. Head to the east. A. Eh? I hope this was a way out. Those things are nightmarish. Ripe corpse, gross. That sounds nasty. Ah! Surprise, motherfucker. These guys are cool. I want to be one of them. so ready to have a chocobo at this point there is too much running <laughs> right it's like they're instilling it like that it sucks to run so much that they're like hey you're gonna love having a chocobo now yes okay got the chocobo now it wants me to run back it's fine oh it's good to see you return were you able to rescue the remains for a fallen i did have some things but the body's given back proper to the earth the souls will find their way across the other side you have done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Now then, what of Mamalja? Did you see any? 
Surely such massive monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less take their quarry unawares. They just kind of showed up. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, so there were Amalja remaining. After all, I feared as much. Their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed. But I sense there's more to this than meets the eye. The occasional Amalja raiding party would not account for the people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The toll is too great, and the question's too many. It would not surprise me if the least to learn another hand in this. But whose? Countless travelers pass through the dry bone every day, and even if it were one among them, how would we best discover who might be implicit in these vain vanishings? What say we turn an eye to the common folk themselves? It may be among them that we find the reasons for these vanishings. Twelve forbid it so. There is a merchant by the name of Ungust who was born here in Drybone and grew up in the Golden Bazaar. A rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. Had wagers at the inn quaffing away the day's earnings. Here, I'll write a note for you to show him. Else he's not like to speak to you. Professionals have standards. What's up, Yuri? How's it going, my dude? Welcome to the stream. That one's really quiet. Uh, he must be inside here. I'm doing just fine. How you doing? Oh, that guy is... Looks like he's gonna have a hangover tomorrow. It's this motherfucker! Let me murder him. Blech. Well, gods be damned. You're the bloody adventurer. It's right me back in Ulda. When the seven tails you want with me now. To kick your fucking ass. Dear friend. Blech. Mr. Beeper, please help. Yeah. It's a bar. Folk around here... Are as weary as they come. They'll turn tail and run if you so much as pass wind nearby. Played them all for fools and coaxed some hard labor out of them, I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before. But with all the disappearances, you can go talk to them yourself if you don't believe me. I just want to beat him up. Hey, friend. Please, just leave me a little bee. Okay, that one is the easiest one. Devious, this is the devious derelict, this child. I mean, I didn't say but this. I'll take who or whatever has been feeding off us low folk. Petrified pauper. What? what do you want from me? Uh, I don't know anything. Nice spirit, please don't kill me. Is it gonna make me run up there? God damn it. A thing. Oh, there's a shard. I need to read that or touch that. Fuck. I'm jumping down. Milk cows for cash. <laughs> We're gonna milk cows for cash. In GTA, can you milk cows? Give you a bunch of cookies from Yuri. Did you hear the cookie again? Thanks for the five bits, my dude. You got a demon box. No. Meta human. Ah! Holy shit. With a name like Meta human, then he turned into a dra and dragon. Threw me off. Okay, he's gotta be up there. Wait, did I touch this crystal? Fuck. Yes. That guy had bunny slippers. It says it's below me. Does it want me to go back inside the bar? Maybe? Oh, talk to this asshole again. Say something so I can beat you up. Just as I told you, wasn't it? The whole lot of them are terrified. Yeah. There's been a talk of folk getting abducted, but if you ask me, they simply up and move to a better place. This place isn't exactly Costa del Sol. Ah, reference there. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, fuck, I hate this guy. Hey, dude, I want your permission to beat that guy up. Look, I'm twinning with this person. We got like the same outfit. She's green. Welcome back, Faith. Have you learned aught of import? I see. I suppose I should have expected as much from Angus. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak fully to their gods, then the clergy may know something of use. He's planning on cutting the roofs of people's mouths. <laughs> Love me some Captain Crunch. If we would know what the common folk speak of their gods, we know, but. You've no better place to ask than at the church of St. Adama Landama. It's a small and humble church found to the northwest of here. And so long as you are headed there, might I ask you to deliver this embalmed corpse? You just wanted me to be your delivery person and you want me to carry a corpse? Are you going to give me a cart or something? It must be born to... I, a morbid request, I grant you, but it must be born to, be, to burial. And I trust no one more than you see it done. So you got a man named Marquis. He tends to graves that lichyard it will tell you where the body is to be interred the lichyard that's just asking for bad stuff dude 
you name a graveyard the lich yard you're just gonna attract bad news marcus i am marcus yes a bloody a body of course there have been so many bodies of late i i apologize miss if you seek a place of burial then there is an empty grave atop the ridge take the path and lay him to rest there okay how do i get up the ridge the fuck not here we're about the same place nice where the fuck i wish he would show you like paths of things hey grizzberry we saw him earlier oh this really tiny last corner is that guy gonna jump me i just pulled a corpse out of my back pocket and just dropped it on the ground Oh, there we go. Ow. Yeah, apparently, uh, according to Josh, this is only like a couple quests away from getting the chocobo. May all that walk in Thal's, Thal's realm. What? Fishing people? I, I'm afraid I cannot help you. But maybe Sister Orshian can. She has been kind to me. Everyone. Everyone has been so kind. I don't know why, though. I... Pardon me. You will find Sister... Or Orson within the church walls. Hello, Orson. I hear you have done the service of bearing a fallen soul. Please accept my gratitude and extend it to Ism Ismabard when you see him. Hmm? You seek knowledge of missing dry bone inhabitants? It is true I am closer to the people than any other in the order. I confide in them and they in me. When they when they wish to speak in, in their keeper, Tal, I am the medium through which they need. Should I know anything pertinent? I will be sure to share the information with you. My language Marquet would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars were deep. Indeed, he seems to know he seems to now prefer the company of the dead over the living. Well tragic. I fear such behavior ill befits the church. I received word not long ago that one of our recent visitors, a man thinks Tancred, I believe, took offense to his conduct. I must have words with Marquayne soon. Ooh, that's why the guy didn't want to come up here and bring the body. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me, are you lying to me? Thank you, Faith. A burial is no easy thing, even when the departed is a stranger. We're able to learn aught of the missing common folk. You've been keeping yourself rather busy of late, haven't you, Faith? Oh, wait. This guy. A pleasure, my dear... Isambard. The name is Thancred, and I share a passion with you and our mutual friend here for learning what has become of these missing persons and why. I, too, spoke with Ungus more times than I care to count. There seems to be some truth to the notion of the common folk speaking their secrets only to those in service of the gods. Prostration, prayer, penance, abject deeds done behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Who better to take the pious unawares than she who takes confession? The good sister Arson herself? Orson? She wouldn't. She couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend. And you would be what keep wise to keep an eye on this rose. Still, the Lich Keeper Marquet. I swear to the Twelve I've seen that face elsewhere before. Sister Orson, it cannot be. Though she is, though, she is wont to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her own, and it is not uncommon to see her speaking to the children. But, no, it could not be she, could it? <sighs> I grew weary of these suspicions. I know there is one child in particular that she is fond of. Pray seek out the boy, Faith, and see if you cannot glean something from him about our son's activities. Okay. Where's that person? All the way fucking up there. Oh no, it's a different place. Oh, it's not too far. Never mind. I was just there. Nyer. Panda Zerg. <laughs> oh, those things. Awful. I want one of these as a pet. The Tuco Tucos. Oh, holy crap. Uh, you guys were turned down. What were you saying? They said, who are you talking to? You guys. Uh, well, kind of. I haven't said anything. Oh, I thought I heard something come over the, the channel. Oh, I can help. I can help. Ah, oh, the level sink. It's fine. <laughs> I feel like for these last couple of uh, quests before... 
the Chocobo before your first mount, they definitely drive home the, uh, you're gonna want to mount. First. Right? It's like, doesn't running suck? Here, you're gonna love your mount now. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Where's the bear? I'm gonna take first place. I did. Who killed the boy? Oh, he's alive. We're fine. Alright, talk to the Chocobo boy. Uncombed urchin. Please help. Sister Orson went out all alone and hasn't come back. She always reads to me right here about Thal and the Order on the other side. I told her my, I lost my shiny things and she went looking for it. But what if the monsters outside hurt her? Please find her. Ooh, she can want to go summon a big bad thing. Oh, is that her? Yep. Hey, what are you doing in the purple circle? Don't you know that's bad stuff? Ah! Ew, it's a rotting mage. Disgusting. Go back to the ground. You're not supposed to be out here. It's gross. I got one kill for killing that guy. Hey, what are you doing? Get up. You're under suspicion. You, you were the one from the church. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. Seems my gratitude is yours yet again. I spoke with the child. Yes, well, I was able to find his lost trinket. It is a ring given to him by his mother before she passed. I'll see it safely back to him. No, you just want You're just using that as an excuse, aren't you? Here, I help. Damn. Now, where am I? I will spend the hundred goil. Whoa! That's a huge ass behemoth. This Orson was attacked outside of Golden Bazaar. God, poor friend. I will secure a room in the inn for her should she require any rest. Searching for the mementos of orphans and risk her own well-being in, do in doing no less? Certainly not the dastardly deeds Thancred would have us believe. I, I think she was doing stuff there that uh, she was able to use it as an excuse. Sir! I am well glad I reserved the inn room for Sister Orson. It seems she received greater injuries from her attackers than she initially let on. Thankfully, she expected to make a full recover. The injuries were probably self-made. Need blood sacrifice. But now, onto the matter at hand. Tancred came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting in the Amaljad's encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence regarding these disappearances. Oh, there's a big jet, big ass whale mount. He's got lights all around him. Ah, oh, there you are, Faith. So good to see you. Indeed, I heard all about the good sister Arison. Isn't my bard said her wounds were serious? It would seem my suspicions about the poor Rose were misplaced. But false though they were, perhaps my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst following sister Arison near the Golden Bazaar, I... And... A band of Amaja caught my eye. I tracked them as far as this encampment, but... Well, let us say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, brings me to why I requested you, dear Faith. Would you be so kind as to take a look inside? Sure. I'm on it, don't you worry. <laughs> These guys are funny. What are we doing here? Oh, kill the supply crates. Formula One. Big heels for friends. We did it. Go 
Okay, what am I actually doing here? Search for a clue in the encampment. Okay. A clue, you say. I need a shiny thing. What the fuck is it? You know, I gotta murder some people with a clue? There's nothing here. Want some insight? Maybe. Oh, there it is. Jeez. There we go. It's a queer leaflet. <laughs> oh, wait, it's. I don't need to talk to you. Well, did you find anything? Here you go. This leaflet. See the wealth of Nalan to the hands of your children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. The lettering, though, atrocious, is it not? And these bits about Nalthal. Nalthal seems somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order penned this. Let me take this to the end at Camp Drybone and let us see what Sister Arson makes of it. She was probably thinking she was doing good. Boom! Fuck this. Not running. <laughs> I spent like a thousand gold on just teleporting back to this town over and over again. Wait a minute. There you are. Hey, look at this. My savior comes again. To what do I owe the honor this day? Uh, what do you say about this? What is this? Blasphemous. These are not our teachings at all. This was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. Of that, I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago the church was plagued by missing garments. And some of them deposing at the priest of the order to deceive the people. The plot thickens faith. Our culprit pretends to be the priest to lend credence to his de deception. There's no doubt or irony in their summer. But I suspect we have worthy adversary on our hands. I shall consider how best to handle this. For now, tell isn't isn't bard that we have learned here. Is it him? Is it he the bad guy? I like that big whale. He looks happy. Posing as a priest, to think. These troubling notions aside, it is gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you, once again, Faith. I shall keep my eyes and ears open. Now, now more than ever. I'm afraid I have not seen an unusual activity, nor have any of this camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit, and more, soon, more innocents will fall victim. Do not despair just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let faith in me serve like with let faith in me serve like with like like with like like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of a sucker. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It will be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to useless in battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs so long as you don't mind the smell and the stains. These will serve very well. You have my thanks. When do I get one of those tattoos? Listen, Faith. So long as I lay the foundation for a little ploy, we must make it widely known that no more vagrants have arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don the old garments Ismabard has lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. Lurk away, Yuri. Enjoy your game. I'm assuming it wants me to talk to all these people. Just to deceive. I preach the teachings of Hazemar, the Warden. Hast thou come to partake in the honey of her wisdom? Sure. Hazemar is the keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Open thy heart to this light, adventurer, and thou shalt know true fulfillment. This person's name is Ermagerd, and it's an NPC. Greetings, young good madam. Is there aught I might assist you with? I stock only the finest wares. If you wish to make a purchase, our attendant at the counter will glad to serve you. Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I need to, uh, I need to change my clothes. How do I change my clothes? Speak with locals while garbed in the Weathered Shepherd's tunic and a pair of Weathered Shepherd's slops. Okay. Weathered Shepherd's tunic. Uh, here we go. There we go. I'm... Ah! Fucking giant ass mecha whale popping in my face. Oh, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid our wares are very expensive. Perhaps you should rejoin... You join your fellows out in the pond north of Sandgate. Rude. Why is there a marker here still? Yeah, I did that one already. That'll stand. I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say? Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. Rude. Man, people are dicks. Tattoos aren't explained why they have them for a very long time from where you're at. Really? What's up, Neryl? Hmm, and you are. Hmm, another refugee by the looks of you. The mortal flames have neither work nor coin for you, look. Before you're like, be gone, and so you don't make a nuisance of yourself. Dick. Is it above me? It's up there. Agatha Thunder, that's a cool name. What is it? No, it's not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whomsoever you like. Why don't you keep with your own kind out? 
Why that funny pawn of yours a tripod? Bitch. Can I throw her over this edge? You have quite a knack of being a nuisance, Faith. The camp is abuzz with talk of newly arrived vagrants. And though we were unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have a com commune by the pond of Sandgate to the east of here. The eyes of the authorities do not reach that place, rather ideal for sprinting away hapless souls. Let's go there and wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid and comfort. You say, you'll need to remain in disguise. Dick, I lose all my stats. Oh well, at least I get to wear my hat. And keep my super awesome walking sta cane staff thing. Whoa! Someone's got a Pegasus without wings. A fine day for catching false priests, wouldn't you say? If you say so. You look absolutely smashing, Faith. Positively dressed for deception. All that's left then is to wait for a quarry to appear. What's up, buddy? Oh, you poor unfortunate you? souls. What'd you say? Is it not much, you? Oh. <laughs> There's no There's way for men to live, no way at all. Who are you? What do you want? Be at ease, for I mean you no harm. I am a priest of the Order of Nun. Now, son, come to offer you succor. This leaf Ooh. bears the teachings of Nald. Trust to them, and they will surely set you free from the shackles of penury. Kick his ass. Hmm. A tempting offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. On account of that atrocious performance, you made. You would have made a god's awful mummer. Ungust. Yes! Yes, let me kick his ass! What? How did you know? I, you bastard, tricked me! Oh, let's murder the shit out of him. Please don't hurt me! I was only doing it to protect my people! I, I changed his voice like seven times there. Is that so? Do continue. Uh, very well. I'm a man of golden bazaars, raised there if not born. Some moons ago when Amal Shah raids began, they would appear sudden as a sandstorm and plunder and pillage at will. Our defenders couldn't stand against him. Few as they were, everyone lived in fear. I wanted to save my people, but being a merchant was all I knew. And so I did the only thing a merchant could. I approached Al Maljan in hopes of brokering a deal. You're a dick. And before for sparing the Golden Bazaar, they made demands. Outrageous ones. Demands? A kind, pray tell. First of all, they would wanted the schedule for crystal shipments for the Nanawa mines. For this, I bribed one of the workers to leak me the information. Next, they wanted me to bring them people. So I posed as a priest to lure in the vulnerable and give them over their Amal Shah. I, I didn't have a choice. You absolutely did, you piece of shit. Protecting one home was a noble thing, but at the cost of innocence. You could have sought the aid of the immortal flames, yet you did not. I su suspect you are not telling the full story. What made you sell your own people so- Speak! Because he's a piece of shit. That was good. What did you say? The coin was good, I said. I could sell mole meat for a score of lifetimes. And not see a fraction of what the homage pay me. You sacrificed innocence so you could line your own pockets. Words fall to exp or fail to express the contempt I feel for you. Yeah. I did it for my people. Yeah, totally. He's shit. Oh, let's mur Can we drown him in that mud? That sounds like a good that sounds like a good payment. Spare me your con Spare me your contempt. I want if you want to blame someone for the mess world's in, then blame yourself or the gods. No, fuck you. Ah, not you again. Read them unleaking the immortal flames patrol rails to the enemy as well. Spit it out. No, I know nothing about that. I swear it. At this stage, I'm rather disinclined to believe it aunt that leaves your mouth. But no matter, there'll be time enough to learn the truth. Yeah, put him in shackles. Faith, be a dear and take word of these developments in Villa. In Villa, would you? I'm on it. Can I just kick him in the nuts a few times? I shall prize everything I can over this filth. The abductees are still somewhere out there. Our foremost priority is to rescue them. Ugh. Just let me punish the bastard. It's a big ass bat. So to let you know, you're like two, three quests away from your amount. Oh my god, but one quest is like 20 minutes. Yeah, I needed to break from the main storyline, so I'm doing my uh, job quest. Nice. Jeez, that thing is huge. That, that guy's... Shoulder muscles have muscles. Welcome back, Faith. I am pleased that you and Thancred have been getting along. You see, you have done well to uncover the truth. My thanks for the report. As Thancred said, we must ascertain where the abduction abductors were taken, and none about the 
Amal Jan know the answer. Suffice it to say, they will not willingly part with this information. I fear blood will be spilled before it is said and done. Oh no! Blood will be spilled! If we seek a peaceful solution to the primal problem, we must needs to needs be ready to fight for our cause. That you might take to the field suitably prepared, I would have you meet the goblin acquaintance of mine. His name is Mudamix Bubblypots, and he is a scholar of no small repute. Mudamix is renowned for having introduced a revolutionary method of enhancing equipment in Eorzea. The knowledge of this method was once a closely guarded secret, but thanks to Mudamix and his students, it has now been dis disseminated to the great benefit of all the realm. It would serve you well to acquire an understanding of the process for the purpose. I shall lend you a blade. Take it to Mudamix and bid him to use it to demonstrate his craft to you. Mudamix is ever to be found in his camp in Central Thalon, a place known as the Bonfire. Look for a pillar of smoke and the way will become clear. Okay. Where am I? Why am I not showing up on the big map? Tell me I didn't just teleport to the place I was already at. Hey Josh, how often do the achievements currency thing work? What do you mean? So like, you get an achievement certificate. How many points do you need to get one? I don't know. I bought everything and I still have 105 in my currency. So. Jeez. Suck! Who's a blood to come to tent ring of Motomix bubbly pots? Here you go, have a dagger. Fighty tool drinks in every self. Oh wait, what? Fighty tool drinks in every self. When full of every self, fighty tool changes to story shine. Name of material. What the? Are these goblin words? If material join with other fighty tool, then my fighty tool gains power of airy self. Shock. Mundamex is reckoning that Uplander is a friend of Minfilla. Yes, tongue flaps reach ears of Motomax with fastness. I kinda love him. Minfilla wants Uplander to see power of material. Uplander brings fighty tool to Motomax, yes? Yep, here you go. Here's a dagger. Oh, fighty tool is unstrong, unstrong as eating tool. Make good Chi show of power of material. The material master. Now eyes of a blunder point at fighty tool, yes? Shh, material join with fighty tool. Doody doody doody. Mio, yo, what's going on, friend? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid. We're uh, finally trying to do some of the main storyline here. How you doing, Cot? Good to see you. How you guys doing? You guys were playing some Phasmo. How'd that go? Were you playing solo or were you playing with friends? Thanks for the shout out, Yuri. Appreciate you. Fighty Tool gains power of materia. Fighty Tool reborn. Here, Uplander, take Fighty Tool to Minfilla. Materia, strictly speaking, is kind of crystal. It is created by drawing out the atmo- Oh man, that bouncing thing is going to make me sick. A third constituents from a piece of equipment and then crystallizing them. Not just any old equipment will serve, mind you. It must have sufficient spirit behind that's being a measure of how fully an item has been imbued with power's own spirit. Or, with its owner's own spirit, whatever. When you attack a jerpy and material together, you imbue the host item with its power. That's how Master Mutamix turned that dagger of yours from a summit of what have struggled to cut stick into a weapon worth wielding. Shaka! A blender wishes to be joiner of materia? Then a blender best Bill brain case with knowings of crafty making. Brain case. I love that. Brain case. <laughs> Neil kept dying. Oh no. Freaking ghosts were they were racist. Oh no. You don't like ghosts? I I don't I don't like ghosts either. I I struggle with scary games. I am a screamer. With knowing of crafty making, a blinder can become a joiner of material. If a blinder wants to be once brain case to rattle with knowings of materia, planner best trade tongue flaps with learning ones of Mutamix. Trade tongue flaps. How you doing? How you doing? Atrocious! Thank you so much for follow. Welcome to the Pupper Pals, JJ Cookie. Cookie. And this Cookie. Cookie. Get a cookie. It landed on your belly, you better find it. Also, if you guys don't know me, I'm Basif. I'm a variety gamer here. We've been playing some Final Fantasy 14 as of late. A real start of the show was down there, she just found her treat. That's Jada. And uh, we're playing some Final Fantasy VII. I'm playing with uh, Cat Bear and Birch right now. Um, you just said Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I will always say Final Fantasy VII. 14. That's a horrible game. Uh, Alright, you're banned. You're banned, Josh. Do it. <laughs> Ban. Fighting word. Slash ban. Cat Bear. Unrecognized command. I can't ban you. 
<laughs> He's so powerful. <laughs> yep. But uh, we did do a dungeon or two, and uh, now we're just pulled. Um, Birch and I are both trying to get our chocobo because it's getting bananas. So much running. Boop a snoot! I just gonna give. Got some boopies. I did a boop. <laughs> I like so, so after this quest you're on now, mm -hmm. then it's a small little thing, and then mount time. Oh, please. I'm done with the running. Oh, I have pizza waiting for me, too. I'm going to destroy that pizza with my mouth bits. But how was Fazbo? <laughs> Slash ban or exclamation point ban. Oh, I should make that a, a, a command. That'd be great. <laughs> An anonymous chair. Thank you so much for the five bits. Jay, you want some cookie? You want some bitties? I'm gonna get it. I'm not reaching over this time. Here you go. You have to get up. She's like, oh, I don't want to move. She's like me complaining about having to run to go get this mount. You better get this treaty. It's by your butt. She's grunting at me. She's not happy. Oh, there she's going. <laughs> You're gonna get it. Oh, there's a Jada face. Yum, 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 cookie. <laughs> See her nose. It's night for you. So have a good one, Cot. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for joining in the raid. I appreciate that. I hope uh, you sleep well. And hope to see your face again soon. Ugh. I'm so done with all this running. Oh, hey, dude. Okay. Talk to friend. Oh, can I? I can switch my gear back, right? There we go. Sweet. I look good again. All right. Talk to you. Welcome back, Faith. I trust your visit to Bonfire proved fruitful. Yeah, here's the dagger. He did a thing to it. Ah, what a remarkable difference a single piece of material can make. Granted, the skills needed to manipulate the substance are not easily acquired. One need only look upon the results to realize such efforts are worthwhile. As I am sure you are aware, the quality of one's equipment can be a difference between victory and defeat. Materia may well give you the edge you need, Faith, so make it your ally. Now it is time we discuss the matter of your next mission. Pray speak with me when you are ready to begin. Right now. Holy shit, look at that picture. Is that Ifri? Harold has arrived from Thancred concerning our ongoing investigation. It appears he was able to extract some information from our friend Ungus, the false priest. He revealed that he is, is due to meet with Almaja to discuss their dealings. The immortal flames believe that the meeting will present an ideal opportunity to ambush and capture the Almaja responsible for their abductions, and so they mean to have Ungus attend as planned. As the Almaja are anticipated to offer fierce resistance, the immortal flames have requested our support. I would have you provide it to them, Faith. Thancred is presently attending to another matter, but you but will join you as soon as he is able. Until such a time as he does, he will be the Scion's sole representative on the ground. Before he left, he bade me to tell you, save some for him. Such is his confidence in you. A confidence I share. When you have made ready, pray take yourself to Camp Drybone and report to the Flame Sergeant leading the mission. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Alright, Lord of the Inferno. Let's go. To Camp Drybone. We are off. His name is Ted Cruz. Ah, your face gains more of the science. My thanks for coming, friend. We're stronger for your assistance. Allow me to brief you on a mission. Our objective is to capture Amal Shah and prize from them the whereabouts of the abductees. The lizard men aren't aware that their man, Ungus, has been exposed. But when they come to the rendezvous point to meet with the traitor, we'll spring the trap. Owing to the clandestine nature of the mission, we can deploy only a small contingent. Every member must count, and so we requested the aid of the Scions. The rendezvous will take place in the invisible city. Please make your way there and lie in wait. We stand and learn much and more of the Amal Jha plot and the mission succeeds. Faith, let's make sure it does. Just, just, just a little further. The guy, the guy with the whale has been here this whole time. He hasn't moved. What are you waving at? There's no one over there. Whoa. And you can just burn through time in this game. Stay away from me, imp. Destination found. Oh, I just want to murder him. Is the bait in place? I'm always just smiling. A man is in position, sir. Good. We make move as soon as the Amalja appear. Yes, sir. 
If you warn them, I'm murdering this shit out of you. Whoa, what's up? I want to be one of them. That's probably how they talk. What is the meaning of this? Surprise, bitch! Wait, something's amiss. Ooh, he warned them. Is that Ifrit? Great. <laughs> oh, let me murder him. Trade his flame soldier. No! <laughs> I'm afraid your little ambush ends here. I eluded the immortal flame clutches for moons before they be finally being caught. Do not wonder how I managed it. Oh, I'm slow looking forward to murder you. It was almost as if someone was feeding him information from the inside. <laughs> You're getting murdered too. Ah, your every moment was known for me ahead of time. <laughs> now, as much as I'd love to chat a while, I have an appointment to keep. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh, I cannot wait to murder him. Let's go, boys! I wasn't able to beat this for so long. Oh, I actually have to beat it too, huh? That's cool. It, it was just like a dream for me, for sure. That you beat it? No. Oh, just all- oh, I, I get it. I get your reference. <laughs> That's a lie. You were able to beat it many times, I'm sure. Oh, yes. All right, here, let me kill some friends. This isn't going to work, is it? Yeah, it doesn't work. That's dumb. What's the point of being able to mass heal if I can't mass heal? That would be an instant cast. Oh, I did the wrong button, that's why. Yeah, it doesn't work. Boo! Ow, get off my dick! Kill the boss. Oh my god. Sandgrid show up or something. This is taking forever. You guys aren't supposed to stand in the middle of the red things. Come on, what are you doing over there? Gnome. Oh, I'm actually out of mana here. Can use this. Oh my god, this is taking forever! Unnecessarily long. Oh 
No, target the boss. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Finally, Jesus. I was winning. What's your weapon? Put up your weapon for Kramage, Kramage dead man. Behind you! Ooh. No, he put me to sleep. Bring her. Oh, I cannot wait to murder the shit out of you. You should wait. The rest of you, march! Traitorous scum. I fear that Almasha mean to give us the god to the god as an offering. If I must die, then let me die a soldier's death with steel in hand. The bowl of embers is now accessible. Now, I can solo that for you. Oh, there's a quest now. Or a, a dungeon. Yeah, I can solo it. Or can you? you can do it normally. <laughs> How do you solo it? Do we just get in a group and enter together? Is that how that works? I would grab you and then uh, we I take off cap. I, I, so it no longer sinks me. Oh, I didn't think it would let you in the instance if you did that. No, it lets you do that. That's funny. Um, will I get experience or anything for that? It's not a dungeon, and you'll get barely any experience, but it will, you will get the clear for it. Uh, we can, I'll do normal. You want to you wanna do a normal run? Yeah, normal's fine. All right. Uh, Birch, if you're still on, did you want to join us? I don't know if I can, since I haven't gotten that far in the main quest yet. W will it not unlock it? Is, right? No. Okay. All right, we'll get yours next time. Yeah, I'll probably do this and then maybe head off. Okay. Uh, we'll see. I need to turn off the mines. Where are those? There it is. Turn that off. Lord of the Infernal, hearken to our plea. Lord of the Infernal, deliver us from misery. Almighty oh, Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno, your humble servants beseech you. Grace us with your divine presence. Sick. Although he's a lobby, that's kind of a bummer. There's normal, hard, ex uh, normal, hard, expert, extreme, and most recently, unreal. Cool. Oh, mighty Ifrit. We've been... We bring you before you ignorant savages who know not your godhead. If it pleases you, Lord, scorch their heathen souls with your cleansing flame and mark them as your own. Bloody hells. Bring those two as well. <laughs> yes, please tell me. Yes! Oh, kill them. What's going on? This is what we agreed. None but, ser Whoops. None but servants of Lord Ephraim may behold the right of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeits. No! Oh, spare me, I beg you. Oh, yes. Murder him first. Just drain him of his soul with your cleansing fire. Beautiful children of man, my breath, I claim you. Arise once more as my loyal minions. Eat my flames with your faith. 
No host and a shell Yes, murder them. That's cool. That's blue flame. Oh look, it tickles. Oh mighty no. Wait, that's the dude. Oh mighty Ifrit. My one true god. Your words are my brand. Oh, they all fell. Okay, didn't eat them. Hey, I'm fine. Impossible. What sorcery do you resist my master's will? I'm murdering the jerk face if I get the chance first. Could it be? Uh, Your soul only belongs to another? Yes, that is the only explanation. Ooh. They're all scared, and he's all mad. Her. Or through thy frail mortal frame can serve as vessel to the blessings of but one. Yet I smell not the taint of another upon thee. The true divine allegiance waxeth clear. Thou art of the godless blessed's number. The paragons warned of thine aberrant kind. Thine existence is not to be suffered. Oh, he mad. He's going full Diablo. He wants me to 1v1. Okay, red flame that time. Okay. Just bam. Ow! Okay. Explodey bits. Stay at max range. Got it. Uh. You can cast his eruption like that as a blue mage. As a what? Blue mage. Oh, really? That's cool. I was healing. Ooh. Right, nails are coming. What heals are coming? Nail. Oh. If we have to kill it, if we don't kill it fast enough, we just won't. That sword thing? Yep. Well, someone just did a shit ton of damage. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, 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 ah! It's fine. It's fine. It's spicy. It's fine. This is fun. Holy crap! Oh, I took damage there. Apparently, Woo! that was close. was fun holy crap oh that's phase one barely the tip of the iceberg, <laughs> like trial fights i enjoyed that immensely he dropped his philosopher's stone
Hey, forgive my lateness. You're late. You missed out. You murdered a primal. I was delayed by a congregation of Amalja zealots. I swear, each seemed more evangelical than the last. <sighs> Persistent lot. Ow. I see the Bloodsworn wasted no time extracting the captives. No less than I'd expect from the Flame General's hand-picked men. <laughs> Look at that guy, he looks all dumpy. As for those two, it's fair to say their hardships have only be just begun. They have much to answer for. Let me drown that guy, please. I feel I'll owe you an apology face. Had I know your mission would prove so dangerous, I'd have never left you face to face it alone. You have been given a veritable baptism of fire. But let us continue the conversation in more agreeable surrounds. Camp Dragonbone, shall we? This way, sir! So that was my Ifrit. Oh, it's that motherfucker. Mer. And what a disappointment he was. The readings of nowhere near what I had anticipated. Even taking Uldan interferences into account. You should know better than to rely upon five year old data left by the Bills Legion. Nor can we expect any form of support from the motherland given the troubles at court. We have only ourselves to rely upon. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. We've wasted enough time here. That meter of yours is too old to give any reading worth a damn. Not that there was all worth a damn for it to read, but I take your point. I suppose we must content ourselves with the knowledge that we've achieved our primary objective. You to find that I am troubled by the adventurer's unexpected show of strength. How could such a foe prove a hindrance to our plans? Perhaps, but that is a consideration of another time. You've been given a task. That is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. I like her. Fail to do as my lord commands. And I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. She looks like a... A warframe person. With allies like that, beware a woman in love. I shall need not to be... I shall need to be on my best behavior. Give me a chocobo! Player commend. Ah, there you are, Faith. Come, rest a while. You will have no better opportunity. After witnessing their gods' ignominious defeat, the Almalja will be less inclined to risk our wrath, for a time at least. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, I was in the process of, of, of apologizing. I do hope you can forgive me. I arrived too late to be of any use. Or you or the abductees. They may be the whole body, but the same cannot be said for their minds. For once a man is tempered. Ah, but it still suits me to dwell on the negatives. Amidst all our misfortunes, there's still reason to rejoice. If we is slain, and by your hand, no less. That is the deed of no ordinary individual faith. Not that I ever thought you were ordinary. On the contrary, I have long suspected that you have the potential to shape the fate of this realm. What can I say? My fine eye for talent remains undimmed. And Phil will be proud beyond all reckoning that she hears of your deeds. I trust you shan't object to my bearing the tidings to her. That way I can claim to have committed, contributed something to this session. You, meanwhile, have earned yourself to rest. Take some time to relax and return to the waking sands when you are good and ready. We can discuss matters in more detail then. Just don't take too long, will you? The worm's problems won't solve them themselves. Or to the sign. Yes. Okay. Oh, please be done. I'm gonna be level 30 before this is over. Then I'm gonna have to do double quests. I did the. What are you doing? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hmm? 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 Anomalous assassin. Level 52? What the fuck? 
How is there a 52 there? Laser time, pew pew. Uh -huh. Oh, the triumphant hero returns. Thancred told us the news upon his arrival. He presently in the solar, giving a full report to Lady Minfilna. I thought he told me to do it. You should join them at once. Lady Minfilna is most eager to see you. Um, until I get my freaking chocobo, Yuri. <laughs> my late arrival nearly cost Faith her life. I wasn't there when the Amaljah took her prisoner. Wow, you lying piece of shit. And I wasn't there when they served her to Ifrit. Yes, by some miracle she survived, but that does not excuse the fact that she should never have had to face such dangers alone. I failed her utterly. Oh, he wasn't lying. Okay. Just as I'm failing you all. What's done is done, Thancred. You can ill blame yourself for every... Faith, it's good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. I just finished regaling Min Filna with your heroic exploits. Thancred has told me everything. Oops. Thancred has told me everything you have done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great. Yet a part of me believes that I had no cause to fear. And now we can pull paid to our long investigation. As we suspected, the Al Maljah undertook both the robbery and the abductions with the aim of summoning the primal Ifrit. Nor is this tale limited to Ulda. Similar incidents have been rife in both Limbs of Lominza and Redania of late. I dare say you've been curious as to how these crimes are linked to the primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested to the physical realm, primals must consume Aether if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more Aether they require. Now Aether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and permeates the very air that we breathe. Alas, this alone will not suffice to sustain the likes of Ifrid. Nay, he and his kind require a more concentrated source of Aether. Crystals. It is for this reason that incidents involving crystals can often be traced back to a primal. Which leads us as to why Leads us with the why of the abductions. We understand this, and you must first understand how primals are born. When all is well to the world, primals possess no physical form. Their presence is dispersed across the great river of Aether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which a primal's essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together, or etheric coalescence, which grants the being's physical form. Once born, a primal game shrinks from its followers worship. The more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful their god becomes. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence in their adherents freely given, as their inherents freely give, and in order to gain more power, they do not scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, a process to which you yourself were subjected. Yes, even as Ifrit took comrades in his thrall, you alone remained unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess. The Echo. We know not the why of it, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. It is as though a great power protects us. When first you came to us, I told you that the Echo would be instrumental in dealing as a primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. The recent incidents all share a common trait. Meticulous planning. Such elaborate designs are new development, and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While I share your concern, my presiding feeling is one of the relief you are safe at your safe return. Ah, the immortal flame assured me that they will deal with their aftermath, so you need not concern yourself with that. You may rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite pay faith. You may be sure it won't last long. Once the people learn the identity of the hero who failed Ifrit, Ifrit you shall have a nary moment to yourself. Whether she intended to or not, Milfrina neglected to tell you something. Something I think it would be best to you heard from one of us. It concerns the tempered abductees that were rescued. I am sorry to report that they all are to be put to death. Whoa. The flames with whom you were imprisoned included. Needless to say, the information must not be known to the public. That's fucked. I swear to you that, that we would not do this if there were any other re recourse. But once a man is tempered, he is tempered for life. His every ex very existence lends his strength to the primal who he cannot choose but worship. And so we Skyons continue our fight, but no more innocents need to be sacrificed. I hope that we continue to stand with us, Faith. But I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for the losses his people suffered. Till next time. Later. God forgive me. How many more lives? Luiso would never have allowed this to happen. I have to do better. I have to be stronger. He's one of those people, huh? Give me my mount, please, for the love of God. Until not so very long ago, you were one of the many adventurers seeking to make their way into Eorzea. But for your character and courage, you were raised to this esteemed post of an envoy. Therefore, I fear you traveled around, aiding those in need without thought of reward. 
Confirming to Ida and Papalimo that your science would benefit from your aid. And no sooner had you joined us than you personally bested the primal Ifrid. You have achieved a great deal in a short time and won fame in doing so. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. We have guests, Faith. Or rather, you have guests. Uh oh. Oh, snap. Big button! Ah, my lady Minvilla. Radiant as always. I am given to understand that the scions, the scions of the seventh dawn have recently welcomed a new hero in their midst. I am here on behalf of the Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limza Laminza, to offer heroes such place of honor with our ranks. What was that face? As you can see, Faith, your recent exploits have garnered you the attentions of the Grand Companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have Ifrit's bane for its own. At this end, all three have sent officers to court you. Not interested in marriage. I'll, I'll be her friend. They would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a new recruit. That they have is evidence of their high regard for you. I find myself wondering how word of Faith's deeds spread so quickly. That the immortal flames should know of their triumph is to be expected. What of the other grand companies? Beep. She's adorable as fuck. Your reputation precedes you, Mistress Gainsborough. There's no ordinary woman who can face a primal and merge the victor. And imagine our pride when we learn that you began your journey as an adventurer in our own Gridania. Know that the people hold you in high esteem, and that you always be welcome among us. The Order of the Twin Arrow has need of va valiant women such as you. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us ensure that peace ever reigns over the Twelfth Wood. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you! Mrs. Gainsborough, my comrade speaks of you in the most glowing terms. A woman of your talent belongs to the immortal flames. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us secure a proper, prosperous future for Ulda. The Admiral was not exaggerating when he said you have the look of a hero. Full often does she speak of you, friend. It is only natural that we should want you for the Maelstrom. Join your strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Limsa Lominza to the shores of glory. The shores of glory. It is smart that they brought you to all the towns so you could actually see them before deciding and stuff. That's pretty cool. Lady Minpilna! <sighs> Very well. Though I am quite sure you need no reminding, may have a brief summary of the situation will help you clarify your thoughts in this matter. As you know, the Grand Companies are all-encompassing organizations empowered to call upon the martial, economic, and technological resources of the respective city-states in time of strife. There are plenty three such... There are presently three such organizations in Eorzea, the Maelstrom of Limsa Lominza, the Order of the Twin Adder of Gridania, and the Immortal Flames of Ulda. Serving a grand company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. In return for the faithful service, you will be furnished with various rewards, some of which may well prove useful to you in your other endeavors. If you are agonizing over which of the grand companies best deserves your loyalty, be at ease. The commitment you make this day need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, you are entitled to do so. And yet, I can see that it is no small choice you face. Ah, a thought occurs to me. You will, of course, recall that the three city-states are planning to hold re re remembered services. Well, as part of the proceedings, I am given the understand that the leader of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing these addresses ought to make help you make an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? A fine suggestion. You are as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Creep. Very well. Let Faith hear our leader speak, then return here with her decision. Oh my god, I still have so much to do. We eagerly wait your answers. Uh. <laughs> I know full well that adventurers are, are by the nature a liberty-loving breed, and not best suited for the discipl discipline of military service, but I strongly urge you to join a grand company nonetheless. While the promise of reward is enticing in itself, it is not the only benefit. You are possessed of great power, Faith, and with it you are capable of being untold good, doing untold good. I know that great power is worth to attract attention, not all of it friendly. There will be those who wish you ill, and you must needs be on the lookout for them. Yet however vigilant you are, but one woman. Yet for however vigilant you are, you are but one woman. In the midst of a grand company, however, you will be one woman amongst many. A friend amongst friends, your achievements will be shared. And so will a danger. I can think of no better arrangement. Of course, joining one organization need not mean leaving another. I hope that we continue to rely upon your aid. The twelve, twelve know that we will have need of it in the days ahead. The current companies seek to protect their own nations. We science and the other, and seek to preserve the future of Eorzea as a whole. 
Similar, yet not quite the same. Now then, I expect that you will be a field more often and in the future. As such, I would have you carry this link pearl with you at all times. It will allow us to stay in touch regardless of the location. The other is changing faith, and you have the power to help shape it anew. None can say that what the morrow will bring, but so long as we believe in ourselves, there is not we cannot achieve. Now, it is time to be made ready for your journey. Before you depart, be sure to speak to Tataru. She will appraise, appraise you as to where and when the remembered services are due to take place. Holy crap! Bye, losers. I'm out. It's 11-11, make a wish. I just got a really sudden and weird craving for gummy worms. Undertones. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about all the attention you're getting, Faith. I, I might have sung your praises a little bit too loudly. And often. Um, to a few too many people. Um, next time, I'll be sure to hold my tongue. Literally, if necessary. Anyway, I expect you want to know when and where the Remembrance Service are taking place. If all goes to plan, Redania's Grand Company, the Order of the Twin Adder, will hold the first of the three services, and all their seats here. Honey Sunner will deliver her address at Miketo's Amphitheater. I should probably mention at this point that due to the organizational challenges involved in the assembly, while they involve parties, it's possible that the order of the services might change. Still, there's not much we can do about that. So make Redani your first port of call. Next, you'll need to go to Old Out, where Flame General Rob and Alden will be addressing the masses of the Royal Promenade. Oh, and it's rumored that there'll be a special guest. How exciting! Last but not least, you must make your way to the State Room of Lomensa, Limsa and Lomensa, where the Maelstrom Chief Admiral Merwin Miles Swift will be giving her address. All right, I might do Maelstrom because it has the leader, General Lady. But she's cool. Although I do like Gridania because. Super hippie. The room is accessible via the Admiral's lift. Identify yourself to the sentry, Zaniel, and he'll meet you. Got all that? Well, off you go then. I hope you find the Remembrance Service is suitably educational. I suggest visiting the city states in my prescribed order. So, will you record with your record of impeccable timing? Look, the schedule may well change in favor of your preferred travel plans. Farewell. I still don't have a mount. Ah, oh, this is pain. Nope, wrong button. It's fine. Uh, I just want him out. Okay. Um, it's always so loud. Is this like the favorite place to be? Gridania. And the making makes you decide your company. Once you decide, it's mount. Okay. I like this area because it's very green. Please let this all be voice acted. I'm guessing it's not gonna be. I lost my son to the calamity. Maybe. The three seed seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. Plus, I like her too. The seeds here, here. Ugh. Her. I like her. Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. Fearful of the green wrath, they hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gridania was born some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hur and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization, and soon they were joined by folk of all races. So nourished by the waters of unity and blessed by the light of the matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, hanging behind the elder seed seer. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hur and Elizan. An elegant symbol, do you not agree? In accordance with the will of the Elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Though we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. 
When the Garlean Empire brought yeah, he, his, his face creeps me out. To Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day, for soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed, each waking hour a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease and prey upon the vulnerable. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Hmm. Time was a man could a walk the high roads itself. without fear. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? Who are these two? The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives. The Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. Uh huh. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity. We must think of the children! Woods will be done. It's up to us to protect the forest. All the elementals! Your bangs are a little long, kid.
If you'll permit me, Alfie, no. And my sister, Alize, at your service. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. I already hate you. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. The Redonians are unfortunate enough to have to contend with two beast tribes. The Ixel on an unquestionably more troublesome, being a naturally warlike disposition, and want to summon their bloodthirsty primal Garuda. The Sylphs, by contrast, are peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather, rather than malevolent, and have long been in friendly terms with the Gridanians. Until recently, at least. Alas, they have grown aloof. A change observed at roughly the same time they summoned the primal Ramu. The Gridanians have no love for war, and they consider open conflict a last resort. Though they clash with the Ixol ever more regularly, you may be assured that they do so in self-defense. As for the Sylphs, Sylphs, they are yet bound by a peace treaty. Though one wonders how long it will be before it is broken. The Twelves would have grievously, was grievously wound, wounded during the Calamity, leaving Gridanian vulnerable to the attack. The people are hopeful that the restoring the wood, and thereby the power of the Elementals, will put an end to their woes. Yet how long will that take? Centuries, I'd wager. Meanwhile, the Ixel will continue their incursions, spurred on by Garuda and her insatiable appetite for destruction. Whether the Gridanians like it or not, sooner or later it will come to an all-out war. And when it does, the Order of the Twin Adder will need all the help it can muster. How valuable might the aid of a capable adventure prove to them, then? Well, perhaps we will find out. If the Elder Seldesir's words fell on fertile ground. Who the fuck are you two? Are you guys important? Oh my god, I'm gonna be up to midnight doing these stinking quests. I think that person's what, name was like Sugma said choke on this or something. Oh shit, I need to go down or up or whatever it is. Actually, can't I just do this? No, you need to go go to a crystal first. Okay, which one was it? Chamber of Rule. Good thing I didn't jump down right there. Thought about it. antiquity under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul dynasty we have wrought sand into gold whereby the grace and glory of Naldar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered I speak of Uldar oh god they're following me there at the flame general's back flies the grand company standard note the sigil the golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing fields of Cartano, none spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. Well, oh, that's Seventh. At so that's how it happened. How soon history forgets. Yet many left our gates never to return. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters that they might know happiness in the great beyond as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden, and enthralled. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? I ask you, is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? You who call 
call this living? Dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its natural wealth. We stand on a precipice, yet we do Who's not that? act. Whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist, all must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. Ye who seek glory and wealth, look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. Now is the time to unite. Now is the time to ride forth. In the name of the Sultana, I beseech you. Line not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames. Seek not to prosper from Uldar, but to restore her to prosperity. As the realm prospers, so shall Uldar. As Uldar prospers, so shall her people. Ya for Uldar! Together we are That thing's arm was fucked up. Your grace. Raubon? Nanamo Ulnamo. That's why he doesn't wear a shoulder piece on the other shoulder. I, Nanamo, 17th in the line of Ul, address you. Much has been made of the wealth of Uldar. Yet those who measure that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Uldar lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. Beloved subjects, I bid you raise aloft the torch of Uldar, that her flames might serve as a beacon for all Eorzea to see. Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Sultana! For victory and fortune, <laughs> stride fearless into the inferno. We Glory to the Sultana! Whoever's voice was that, that was great. I loved it. Forsooth. The time is now! I believe, I believe. The time is now! That was the same person. Well, you guys are stalking me. Why are you always following me? She was the reason you joined? The Uldans have a long history of conflict with the Almaja, Almaja, the beast tribe that worships the primal Ifri. Yeah, we fucked him up. Judging by his look of distaste, I take it you have encountered them. The Uldans do not shy from confrontation. It ought, if aught threatens their precious prosperity, they will seek to crush it. These two remind me of the twins from Bioshock 3. So have they dealt with Ifri thus far, smoldering his flames each time he's stoked to life? Yet, he is one of the several problems. Though they have been quiet these past five years, the Garleans have got, not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees continue to arrive in droves, and Uldah has no clear policy on how to deal with them. After all, not even the Sultan Sultanate's coffers are bottomless, and even assuming they had the coin, resources will ever be finite. The sister's always looking at him like he's an idiot. Which brings me back to the subject of Ifrit. It has been observed that the Al Almaljar are summoning him with ever-increasing frequency. Every time they do so, the Uldan send their forces to smite the Primal, and though they are invariably succeed, each victory is brought, bought with blood. It is a war of attrition which they cannot well sustain. Small wonder then that the Immortal Flames are eager to recruit more members. At such a desperate hour, an adventure of your experience would be the most welcome addition to their ranks, especially since I killed him. She's like, I'm fucking out of here. Okay, last one. Oh sweet, it's right here. I just spent Fucking 1500 gold. That one seemed shorter than the last one. Ah, oh, fuck, it's beneath me. Can I just jump? Maybe not. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Right, talk to this dude. Ah, here to attend the remembrance service. Be quick. The Admiral's due to give her address at any moment. Her address? Her address. She kind of looks like me. Right here. So much for our alliance. It's sunk beyond the seabed.
I hope she's a werewolf. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard, and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. Seven hundred summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, guided by the mother of oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. <laughs> oh god, they're here again. Did you look as the admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. The crimson field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the black longship represents a pirate vessel. No shit. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. All answered the call, from the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilfir's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. Freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. It has been five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore, seeking blood for their accursed god. Those fish fuck the bastards. Have risen? Did you say fish While fuck the bastards? <laughs> of Ogomero spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Galian Empire. Even now the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded. Yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? There is but one course left to us. One bearing that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the Empire both and see this ship safe to port. We must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom, and stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well, a crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, gather beneath the undying crimson standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. And with the guidance of the navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. 
She's cool. I like her. Let me guess. The twins have something to say. Fancy meeting What's on their boots? Again. As the Admiral mentioned in her address, Lemza Lumens is played by two beast tribes. The first are the fish like Sahagin, worshippers of the primal Leviathan. The second are the kobolds who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal titan for their god. Titan's cool. As if the beast tribe's presence weren't troublesome enough, the Garlians have also chosen to erect a fortress right in Lominsa's backyard. And that is to say, not of internal strife. As a nation of pirates, there is no end to the blood feuds between the various factions. And while they fight amongst themselves, the Garlians wet their blades and watch. If the Lominsans are to have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Differences must be set aside and the primal threat dealt with once and for all. I stand with that. To this end, I suspect they will soon take decisive action against the beast tribes. Mark my words, the Maelstrom standard will be drenched in deeper shade of crimson ere long. That a capable adventurer like you would be a valuable addition to their, addition to their crew is beyond question. <laughs> She's always just like, and I'm out. Wing, wing, wing. Hey, this is Minvilna. You are well, I hope. Would I be correct in thinking that the final remembrance service has now been concluded? A moment ago, you say? What a coincidence. Jesting aside, I trust you remember our guests from the Grand Companies. Well, I'm delighted though they are, we are to have them here at the Waking Sands. If it would not do, it would not do to keep them in suspense any longer than necessary. In short, hurry back. She's getting tired of them. <laughs> no. no. Let me pour it there. Damn it. Alright, I'm taking a chocobo. I don't care. Really? Did I not pick it up? What? Oh, Vesper Bay. Please take me to the right spot. Mm -hmm. Why do I have this bar? I don't need this bar. Look at his little hat. All right, we're here. Death juice. Welcome back, Faith. Were the Grand Company leaders' words or even learning as you had hoped? Why, each nation is beset with problems. I trust you see now why your servicers are in such demand. But that there were more of you, Faith. But you must be tired from your journey. Why don't you rest a while and take a moment to reflect on your decision? Once your mind is made up, I give the Grand Company officers your answer. No, oh, I'm doing it now. No. Oh. All right, these two, I guess. <sighs> the gods only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. <laughs> the wheels of change are in motion regardless. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies. Yeah, I thought that. Though the calamity and seventh umbral era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard waving rallies. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the warriors of light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the calamity? No, dear Alizé, they haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact, that the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the beast tribes and their primals do little to alleviate the pain. So, the task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Companies. Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Our grandfather would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. There 
must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I need to find it. I like her better. Yeah, you can't just erase history. You are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. In time, I dare say we will see eye to eye. I should hope so. M -m my lady! We are to escort you! Hope does not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister, and will prevail together or not at all. The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds, but prevent old ones from opening anew. Alright. So, I like Gridania because it's forest and the leader is cool. But I think I'm gonna go with the Maelstrom because I like Limsa too. Ah! How was the Admiral's speech? Ah, but you need not explain. That you stand before me now is answer enough. You have resolved to join the Maelstrom, have you not? That's the spirit, lass. With allies like you, how much stronger is our crew? Let us brave the seas together, friend. Now the choice is made, and it's time to add your name to our roles. Make your way to Limps and Lominza, then seek out Grand Company's headquarters. Fuck! Go all the way over there now. Maelstrom's tram is located at the upper decks. I will send word to our personnel officer to expect you. The duties of Maelstrom's soldier can be both arduous and challenging, but I promise you, you will not regret this choice. May your passage be swift and your bearing sure. Ah! Bouncing everywhere! Just give me my stinking chocobo! Shit, did I go the wrong way? Whatever, this will work. Maybe? There it is. Steel blue. Oh. Like, look, there's like nobody here. Beep beep. Hey, adventure, what business have you have in Maelstrom Command? How will you respond? My name is Faith Gans, where they were expecting me. I'm here to enlist if you'll have me. And we're all met! A welcome to the Maelstrom. If I'll need a name for the role. So, wait a minute. You're her, aren't you? Faith Gainsborough. Aye, you're the one our recruitment officer described. Glad to have you aboard, friend. Now, before I can accept your oath, you must be made aware of several... Sir! What is it, Private? And yeah, this better be important. Sir! We received a report from Lookout and Tower Lonasia, sir. Imperial forces have fired upon Highwind Skyways airship. The vessel's in a bad way, sir. It appears to be banking for an emergency landing in Cedarwood. Cedarwood? Damn it! We have no troops available in that area. The bulk of our infantry is bogged down on the coast, skirmishing with the fish bags. Gadsboro, this is highly irregular, but I fear your first duty in service to the master must needs be unofficial. If our main in Lornosius is correct, our man, their airship will come down in territory crawling with Imperial scouts. If there are any survivors, we must reach them before the Gralians do. In any case, the Cedarwood, locate the airship, and if any of our occupants are alive, make sure they come no further harm. What's little about swearing you in, in upon your return? Fuck, it's not over, Josh, you lied to me. It's not over. Oh, oh my god. Ugh. Fuck off, bro. It's not over. And it's midnight. Almost. Ugh, fuck it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Even if that's the last one, I can't do it anymore. I have to go to bed. It's bedtime. <laughs> It's way too late. Um, so I'm going to end here. I'm not going to go for a raid. It's too late. I need to go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I do hope you guys had fun. Thank you guys so much for sticking out with me. Um, I do hope you had fun with it. Um, but more importantly, remember to spay and hoodie your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals rest you out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm basically just a bitchy one here that I'm a pet Mr. Jada. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Come on, let's go get some dinner. Let's go to sleep. Let's go.